Uh, welcome to Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, number 11? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure it's 11. Yeah. Uh, we ended last stream um, with the party in the town of Thunderstruck, which is this mm-hmm. game's version of Thunder Tree. Uh, the party had met the druid Rydoth, uh, the sort of old woman with a pet uh fox named mozilla uh and her pet <laughs> thunderbird uh, so <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah she kind of told them what the deal was and kind of what her space is she's a member of the emerald enclave and kind of said you know she's here to do her best to like try and keep balance here um <laughs> and uh <clears throat> she uh she told them about the dragon that settled in U7 which is I'll pull up the map right next I realize I don't have that up uh and the party was just like oh there's this, this big green dragon venom fang recently settled there and then they were also made aware of the cult of the dragon cultists being present uh in sort of the south eastern section of the map and yes, uh, U thirteen and Droop gets a trinket right out the gate because yeah. why not somewhere Droop now <laughs> in his travels has found both a three and four star little orange ball with red stars inside them. Uh, Droop has he has the three <laughs> and four star dragon ball currently from the monk trinket list. So that's far more powerful than all of us. I mean, yeah, he might, you know, who knows? Maybe he'll uh, he'll have the dragon unlock his true potential and then he'll have a whole new mode to transform into. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so you guys were going to do the, the cultists first. Was that the plan? Uh, yeah, yes, it was. We were going to go try. Uh, we were going to have uh, right off. Yep. Yep. She was going to cast Pass Without Trace on us, and then we were going to go sneak up on the cultist and try to kill him quick and quiet. All right. Cool. Uh, well, now I have the map, or I had the map, and then I got rid of the map. There we go. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, if you guys are you guys ready to go? Did you want to do any preparation beforehand? I mean, if we could preparation get... H. Let's... If we could get past without trace, that would be beautiful. Well, she was going to do that for sure. I just didn't know if you guys had anything you wanted to cast or do beforehand. Didn't so the route we were taking, we were thinking about going through U six, right? Because that was going to be there was something hidden over there. There's spiders in U six. That's what the giant spiders. Are. Oh, that's right. Because there was yes. Um, pull up U six. That was a old store. Yes. And there might be things of potentially worth checking out there. And then there was also the apothecary. And That's then nine. and then the cultists were U13. Right. So right. Um, would you guys want to just maybe sneak south and around to U13? Just kind of yeah. go back to the woods and then sneak back in? I mean, I think that's a good idea. Maybe I can get a look at one of them and I can, like, look like one of them and like sneak into the camp Ooh. yes if we could perhaps we find one that. ambush one and then you could assume his form i like that delightful idea Ooh. uh what's new in maps uh Dad, you, have a spectator. <laughs> you got a spectator view now yeah i did before but i guess it didn't take that for whatever reason i don't know all right well whatever um Okay, so Rydoth will cast Pass Without Trace once you guys are ready to leave. Thank you, darling. Uh, She's going to make us uh, potions, right? She was going to work on getting you guys poison resistance potions was the request. Mm-hmm. Oh, hells yes. So. Um, um, where can we find you? Like, I, I don't really know any other druids. I mean, I'm gonna be 
Like, <laughs> I'll be right over here, you know. Okay. I mean, like, do you mean, like, now, or are you talking about it uh, in the future? I kind of meant in general. Oh, well, I mean, no offense, but if you die to the dragon, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. anyway. Oh. No. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> to lose their short and long term memory. Uh, we'll be lucky if we get those potions when we come back. Uh, don't, don't feel bad. It's, she's got a lot of trees around her to keep her company. Yeah. Sorry, I was just watching the map slowly. <laughs> <from the top. laughs> it was perhaps a little, a little distracting. Uh. I was like, is he doing that on purpose, or is it just drifting? Oh god, I'm being pulled along by the plot line. <laughs> we've never been pulled along by the plot line. That's true, we've rebelled oh, against the plot line. Speaking All of right. plot line, I, I move south and around. Okay. Yeah, let's move south and around. I, uh, just, to, just a reminder, I don't think we've any of us have used our good berries, so everybody has mm -hmm. three. You have your five mm -hmm. temporary hit points, and I will cast Bless the minute... Or the exact moment before shit goes down. Jake, roll a stealth. My name's OB. I make fun of my friends. It's fine. <laughs> <I'm just you. laughs> Evil. Oh. All right. I love uh, let's see. Uh, 37. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yeah, you're very stealthy. stealthy. I'm going to move all the right way up. over. All right. Thank God. Shh. Uh, <laughs> 27. I'm right next to you. I, I'm right here. Oh, 19. Good. Sorry, apparently it's not my day. Are you adding the 10 for Pass Without Trace? Oh, I'm sorry. 29. There you go. Uh, what do you do to add to the roll? I've just been doing uh, it in my head. Math. math. <laughs> I hate, I hate <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rude. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Suck it, Trebek. Uh, 20, 29 on my first disadvantage roll. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Damn. And this one's... Oh! 29 again! Let's go! Wow! Let's go! Hell yeah! I'm, I'm oh. like sneaking along like, how the fuck is... It's fucking Bronson. Chink, just like armor, words. just armor is just making all the noise, and then all of a sudden he tries, and it's just like, <laughs> yeah. he's gone. What the fuck, Chris Christopherson, bitch, right like oh. the wind. Delightful. All right. Oh, right, you guys were going straight over to U thirteen, then, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna uh, try. I mean, yeah, we, we might as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me describe. Can we peek in? Oh no! Go ahead. We're uh. Let's see. We gotta add some tokens here. Get you some cultists. Yeah, get us some cultists. Yeah. I'm going to the store. Do you want any cultists? <laughs> uh, yeah. If they have yes, like uh, the oak cultists, I'll take one. An oak. Okay. All right. So it's one. One. Uh, two. There you go. Okay. It's it's Fine. it's a Wednesday night. It's hump day. Let's treat ourselves. Yeah. Healthy. Treat yourself. Uh, I mean, I I prefer Cult of the Dragon personally. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. Basic, I'm acceptable. a basic bitch. What? You Looks know what? Like Dalton Castle's boys. That's. <laughs> you know what? You made fun of me earlier. I'm gonna conveniently forget to get you a cultist. <laughs> oh, no. oh, that's rude. Sorry. Yeah. Ho homemade is cheaper. <laughs> Are you saying we have cultists at home? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm saying it's cheaper to make it yourself. Oh. Hmm. All right. Uh, so will. many names yeah. I wanted to list for this cultist. <laughs> um. I t uh, you His know what? Name was Sibian. Let me. Let me. Uh. I'll, I'll give you an opportunity here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I heard what he said. Uh, debris is strewn about the meager yard of this small, dilapidated farmhouse. You guys can hear, um, you know, there's you actually can see, I guess, because you guys did make pretty solid stealth checks, that there are kind of two of these cultists standing out front, um, kind of seemingly keeping guard. There is... Uh, actually, I guess I should put... I didn't realize there was a back door. This guy should be over here by the back door. 
Uh, you've got a guy uh, around each door, and you know that Rydoth said that there were, uh, she saw about six, so I'll just, you know, we'll pretend that you don't know that there's four inside, but yeah, you know. We, that's our assumption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Correct. There's mm. always at least four inside. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. You would know. I would. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I You're think. good at this sort of thing. Think, even when you say something nice, I feel like you're not being nice. Me? I'm always nice. See, even right there, I don't know that you're being genuine. I feel like you're insulting me. No, I think you're a great asset to this team, and you... Well, you for the first team. time in my life, I'm actually stealthy. Shh. All right, guys, <laughs> let's sneak up on the guy by the back door here. <laughs> oh, quietly, go to this Good job, everybody. And then we'll we'll kill the one by the back door first, and then we'll kill the one by the front door, and then and then we'll keep killing them. Oh, sounds and that's wonderful. That's my plan. No, definitely do so now that I know that I'm an asset to this team. Apparently, no. Dude, I feel like you're totally you're totally taking LB versus Sir here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I seem to be having some meta bleed in this in this instance. <laughs> just a smidge, but that's okay. I, I feel you. But we're gonna we're gonna work through it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go gank this backdoor cultist on three. Uh, okay. Uh, but real quick, just to set the scene here. <laughs> yeah, who who is is everyone familiar with what the cult of the dragon i like, can kind of see it from the token are you guys familiar at all with kind of like their garb and how they dress and, and things like that so they all uh as a really selling the cultist vibe here it's all black cloaks um kind of and the cloaks are cut you can't really see it from the token but the cloaks are cut in the back to kind of resemble dragon wings like kind of almost like tails kind of in a way like a Rift like a is real yeah, they have black leather masks. You can kind of see it there. They kind of have, like, horns that come off of the top there, like stylized dragon horns. Um, and they all kind of have, like, a you know, a dagger at the belt. So, yeah, this dude is just kind of, like, he is. So, because we're going to actually tap into the rules, <laughs> wild concept, he is on guard, which does mean that he is prepared and actively looking for things, which does mean that you would not be able to surprise him because he is presently ready for danger. You can huh. jump him and get into combat and then like he can act normally, but he is on guard. So he would not be surprised, which I feel like is something I also forget constantly. Hmm. That is like part of the rules that like, you can't surprise somebody that's thank you, Robert for throwing that in the, in the discord there um that is what these dudes look like it is oh it's cool looking but also like it just feels like extra. it feels like it's a lot it's a lot of fabric it feels you know? very final fantasy mm. i'm getting lucius balfoy so cool. Ooh, yeah <laughs> death, eater vibes. death eater vibes i i see it pull it up on the screen for everybody to see in a second here but yeah uh what's your guys what time of day is it um, I think just based on the time that we've had kind of going along here that we'll say it's probably like afternoon ish. Okay. You guys spend time talking to ride off and, and things like that. So we'll say it's like 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we should. I could lead with my crossbow. If you would oh, like. Try and charm them. Here, why don't you let me sneak around the side of him? You lead with your crossbow. If that doesn't work, I'll stab him. That works for me. Theodore, with my 37, would I be able to get on the other side of this cultist? <laughs> would I be able to wear his clothes? <laughs> uh, You stand a pretty good chance. Let me okay. see if Natural he... Natural 20. Nope. It, it, it was teetering. Uh, but no, he couldn't actually, he couldn't, I hate, this is like, I hate to say it this way, because it kind of ruins the immersion to some degree, but he is physically incapable of seeing you. Even with, physically incapable of even seeing with you. a natural 20, he couldn't see you. It's impossible okay. with a 37. Um, that, so. That feels right. Yeah. Feels good. 
Uh, so, yeah, you're able to sneak over there. Um, and then Gable's going to attempt to charm yes, him. Yes, I'm going right. to fire the siren's whisper. Sure. Uh, would I get advantage for being in stealth? You are hidden from him, so that okay. is advantage, yeah. Uh, how far? Yours should be within 80 feet, right? Yes, but just to be on the safe side, I would like to move a little bit closer, if only so I can make sure I get sneak attack. Sure. Oh, uh, I'm right behind him. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd like, you know, just confirming yeah. the kill. Um, For sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the thing. Well, you have sneak attack because you have advantage, regardless. Isn't that still within 30 feet? No, if you that's have advantage the, on the attack, you that's have three five. Three five is thirty feet. Uh, <laughs> We're going Just back kidding. in time. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, as long as it's a finesse weapon or a ranged weapon, and you have the triggers for sneak attack, so advantage okay. on the roll or an ally within five feet or insightful fighting, if you were to do that. So yes, 3.5 is you have to be within 30 feet for sneak attack. Got it. Okay. Um, um, Back when Charisma told you how attractive you were. Quite literally, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got a, uh, a 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is sitting there and he's like picking his nails with that dagger and then like... <laughs> uh, remember, I have cast Bless right before this happened, so everybody okay. got their D4. Nice. Um, I have Piercer. Um, so you get to reroll. Re I'm gonna reroll my okay. D because I've got the one. Sure. Um, that's much better. Seven. Seventeen. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. that is twenty points of piercing damage. He just like he is dead. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> and as I would like to point out for those of you who are at, watching along at home. The siren's whisper has a function of it that the bolts fired from it make no sound. So this guy just like whoop, hit, he's just he's just insta dead from this shot. I catch his body and yep. gently lower him to the ground. And down he goes, <sighs> dead. That shuffles over. I love I like that it's becoming like a pseudo meme within the chat that you kill the people before you can charm them. I with know. The crossbow. It's like that wolf. <laughs> now this guy. Oh my god! Like, how fucking awful. Uh, oh, it's the worst. Don't worry, Man. guys. Oh, I'll no, charm him. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um. And she starts like taking off his clothes. Uh, he doesn't respond. You take off his clothes. <laughs> he is I'll dead. He doesn't respond. Skinnies. Okay. I get a good look at his face. And they do have the benefit of wearing this mask, so you mm -hmm. do, like, even if you, I mean, obviously, you can duplicate it perfectly, but... Yeah. Alright, she'll, she'll, like, um, could you guys, just for a second? Oh, right. Oh, Sorry. yeah, sure. I turn around. She pulls on the outfit and puts on the gloves and... Robert's face is just Bronson staring. <laughs> I don't need to turn oh, around. <laughs> He's got to pay close attention. Uh, uh, yeah, in she, case. she puts on the mask and then raises about. Uh, this guy looks like he's like six two from whatever reason. So she's yeah. she turns into him. Sure. Okay. All right. Should I pull the the one in the front to the back? Yeah, absolutely. Get him to come around the corner, and we'll get him. What should I say? Um, I, I don't know. That's not my best. Right. I, hey, I heard a noise. Can you check it out with me? Or right. come here quickly. Right. Those are my two thoughts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she'll she'll jog up to about here uh -huh. and just say, "Boy, I think I see something." Uh, all right, this, this guy, I mean, having no reason not to distrust you, will just be like, oh, yeah, what, what'd you find? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's over here. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll just... <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, must have just been my, must have been the wind. 
All right. Must have been my imagination. Mm-hmm. Must have been the dog. Uh, <laughs> can I, am, since I'm hidden, do I roll with advantage? You do. All right. Uh, stab him with the broscade. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. Yep. And I will put a first level smite on it. Sure. Thunder smite. No. <laughs> the broscade. <laughs> no, just the normal type. Uh, 15 plus 7, 22. Yeah, uh, he dies. Alright, cool. Yeah, I stab him through his neck, and his eyes light up a little bit with radiant energy, and then he boom, he's done. And I catch him, and I pull him off to the side, too. Alright. Right, are there any I... are there any windows on this building? That is a great question that is not really ever truly spelled out easily. I see one. I guess I two. I, I guess that, yeah, I think, is that, you think that's supposed to be windows? Let's go with those are windows, sure. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave out the back. Just, uh, back me up, all right? Of course, darling. Move right up next to the door. Uh, she's going to knock twice on the door. Oh, that's a oh, big oh, ping. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Holy, I used the new Nukes feature. Are dropping. <laughs> I call for the nuclear weapon from StarCraft. Hell divers. <laughs> yep, I'm so sorry. 500 kilogram bomb right there. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Uh you knock twice on the door. Mm-hmm. Uh all right. Uh You hear some shuffling? Inside, um, nobody comes to the door immediately. What? I gotta take a piss. Does someone cover the back for a moment? You don't hear any response from inside. There is a a face that you just see the teeth, and she just like. <laughs> At that, Gable is going to move around in this direction, and see if he can't peek in through the window uh sure go ahead uh well it's there's not really any need for a perception check um so what you're going from that vantage point where you're at and looking in like towards this door like right here i wish i i'm not pinging but you know like straight through to that door yeah okay um you would see that there is somebody right there, and let's just make a futile stealth check or perception check. Um, yeah, so you, so you see somebody there. My perception was a seventeen. I don't know if it really. Uh, it. Um. Uh, yeah, the, you'll see that guy that he's standing right there. He's hi- he's attempting to hide. Like, he's crouched down, like, clearly looking kind of in the direction of the door. Okay. So clearly they know something's up. That would be an inference you could make. Okay. Um, I'm going to sneak back to everybody and relay the info and just ask, do we have any, uh, I don't know, explosives, a a torch we can toss through the window, something to cause a bit of a ruckus. Draw them out. Explosives? No. I got it. (laughs) Um, Can I go and lock the front door from the outside with my ten feet of chain (laughs) and my lock? (laughs) Oh no, I've seen this. I've seen this happen before. So many times. I've seen this. <laughs> yeah, get uh I guess you have you have thieves tools, right? I have thieves tools, I have a, a lock, and I have ten feet of chain. Alright, so then the lock and the chain work as intended. Alright, cool, great. <laughs> I do that and then I say I come back and I'm like, all right guys, ready to go. Alright. Uh Sid is gonna move over to the window. Uh-huh. And uh, she's going to summon her little friend inside. All right. Uh, it will be crucial for you to show me where you summon the spirit. 
So from the vantage point you're at, you can't see the whole space. So you'll have to right. potentially move. Yeah, see, so if I'm by the window, I just want to get him in the room. So even like putting him like uh, like in the space that's right in front of the window. Like, okay. Not, I kill one it's... murderous goblin in the back and you guys go full red wedding. Yeah. Some cultists. I the the irony was not lost on me. I'll tell you that. Uh, that so bear, the hot. thing is, is we haven't played in two weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Our blood. All right. And there's nothing better than like a tactical assassination. It feels really nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nothing better than Much solid agreed. snaking our way to murder some cops. Uh, so, LB, if you want to grab a token and just show me where you're going to drop it. Uh, Jake, please. <laughs> me? How do you add a token? I got you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they wear masks, so I don't have yeah, to see yeah. their face when they contemplate thinking about their it. family for the last time. Yeah. Oh, they're wearing masks. You can't see that anyways. Yeah. <laughs> you think dragons are evil? There we go. There's okay. a fire new. I'll just, I'll just pop, pop him right there. All right, and what does it do damage to? It's what is it radius? Uh, 2d6. Uh, each creature within 10 feet of the spirit, other than you, uh, must succeed in a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 fire damage. Cool. So that's all of them. Uh. I can only see a little bit in. Okay, no, no. All, all right, what are they? You've Can been I... fire struck. <laughs> All right. Dexterity saving throw? Yes. Roll your damage. It's nine. They all die. They have all not they have nine health. And they all failed. And they're all within ten feet. So you just <laughs> this cultist has their face plastered against the window and it's just like burned up and she's like, Right, well, I don't know what happened in that. Please tell me that we get the Titanic where there's a hand that goes up against the oh. window and then slides off. Half Titanic, half Terminator. Yep. No, no, it's just there is literally, no a pun intended here, just like ash and soot. The windows are just caked. You can't see because yeah. it's just this massive, exp I mean, it quite literally, it appears in a fire, like a fiery explosion which would emanate out from it, which basically almost gets the entire room, and it kills all of these guys instantly. Impressive. Wow. Oh, Actually, shit. I'm gonna eye Soot. Does Soot look different? No, I don't think so. She looks like a cultist right now, so... Yeah. <laughs> she just, like, There's one left! Like... <laughs> wait, wait. Wow, guys. Matt, I don't that even was... know what happened in there. They might be so Yeah, I was gonna say, all you can tell is from the vantage point that you're at, the one that you were looking at through the window was that... So you could see that one is dead. Ah. Uh, and Bishop, I guess because of the appearance of the fire, that same one in the corner, this guy over here... He's dead. You can see that he is now a pile of ash, but the other ones you can't see, so you don't know what happened. You just don't hear any sound from inside. Yeah. So what would sort of change then? No? I don't, she didn't see it. I, I don't think so. I don't, it's, this, it's, it's all you, man. We're in, ter we're in a weird territory here. Can I see a dead cultist? Are you looking for a dead cultist? Oh, she's trying to figure out what's going on inside. If you go and look, yeah, you can see that this guy here, he's dead. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, I think so it's like, uh, I'm going to go check to see uh. if there's anyone still alive. <laughs> Hold on the tick. <laughs> open the back door. <laughs> Try to open the back door. Yeah, you open it. Oh. And it's just oh. a, it's just a sea of dead bodies. Um, of, of burnt bodies, uh, and you can see kind of like hastily shoved in like a corner behind like um a stove, uh, is a um like something like thrown under a blanket, like stuff was trying to like they like tried to hide something out of the way real yeah. quick. It's clearly somebody didn't know the secret knock to come back inside. Well, that's good. Yeah. Did any of it survive? <laughs> uh, well, do you go and look at what's in there, Soot? 
yeah, so as Sit walks in, the, the hair does change to red as she like takes off the mask. Um she's she's just a fiery haired cultist dude now? I'm confused. I don't know no, what this I looks mean, like. Dr. <clears throat> is here. Okay, got uh, it. In full black leather. Okay. Uh, oh wow. All right. Um uh, Yeah, I'll go check it out. Okay. Uh you see um a like a coffer box that has six amethysts in it that are worth Ooh. 50 gold pieces each and th there is a potion uh, a clear liquid um that floats at the top of the container and has cloudy white impurities drifting throughout it does this look like a potion of invisibility climbing or growth that we have? It does not. Okay. It is a different one. That's good. What? No, there's only three yeah. types of potions. <laughs> well, that was... Oh. Oh, wait. There's something else. So, hang on. <laughs> oh, well, what could <laughs> be? Roll me a percentile, please. <laughs> Thank you. For your war crimes, apparently. So says the chat. For war crimes and terrorism. You know what? I do my best. Terrorism is I'm just effective is all. Yeah. Uh, 55. Feels like this one's kind of wasted on you uh, because of the nature of being a changeling. Mm. But it's all, you know, it is a nail file that paints your nails as you file. Oh. Uh, the color oh, the file that. applies changes daily, but only apply, uh, but once applied will remain for one week. Oh, that would be wonderful for these piggies. Yes. <laughs> and that's when we have a, a, a beach episode, mm -hmm. I'm painting everyone's nails. Come near my nails and I might draw blood, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Not unreasonable. I feel well manicured, but um, all right. Problem. I don't know. I feel like like a, a a burgundy would look good for me. But um, all right. Uh, I'll go in because there's this other room in here to the north. Uh, sure. Um, it just uh, it's basically like a bunk room hmm. where there's just beds. So oh, okay. nothing of interest in here. Good. Good. Hey. So, hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing good. We did. I think we we got this good. Uh, I slowly start walking <laughs> towards the door. Uh, I should push. <laughs> able. Oh, no. Where's my? Where's the, Where's the stone that squirts water? <laughs> the sentence I don't believe I've ever heard out loud before. I strike this the water flint at you. I have that. <laughs> no. I have oh. that. Oh no, that's uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, these windows still work. Can I climb out the window? <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice day. Ooh, I'm I'm sweating from the fight. Uh, uh, and this whole room is full of high quality bio ash, great for growing crops. Ah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Thank you for uh, that morbid ass observation. It's a trinket. Well, no, I can't help it. I have, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, it's a trinket uh, that when you burn stuff with fire, it becomes really good for you know soil. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Sit so walks out the back, just kind of petting her little guy. So now what? Well, I believe we were banking on this experience granting <laughs> us some additional knowledge, you might say, to prepare us for what is lurking in this town. Cultists are easy to kill. Is that the knowledge we gained? That Apparently. was. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think we gotta go to the apothecary and get the, uh, the emerald necklace from Mrs. Dendril, if we could. Might as well. All right. Uh, Gable is gonna keep like a curious eye on Soot as we keep moving. Mm. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything, but just kind of has like a pleasant smile. Mm -hmm. I am entirely focused on my stealthiness. 
<laughs> I have done nothing. He's living and... his best life right now. <laughs> I am so Mission Impossible, Bronson, and I don't want to wreck it, so I'm going to continue. Uh... To still. Yeah, so we'll stay out of sight with, um, I should name him, uh, Ember. I get very like Peter Griffin sneaking around, <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting prom from Ember's new. Group. Oh, there, yeah, sure. Uh, all right, the uh, herbalist shop. This ruined shop is cluttered with sagging storage shelves and broken furniture. Shards of glass and pieces of pottery glint in the weeds and rubble next to rotted books and casks. I guess I'll um, see if I can find where this secret container with the with the old uh, emerald necklace is. No check required. She told you where it was. It automatically succeeds. And you find a gold necklace with a fine emerald in the middle of it worth 200 gold pieces. If I wasn't nice, I would keep this. She did tell you that it was payment for saving her life. I know. I'm still going to give it back, though. <clears throat> All right. Because it was, it's a, it was hers. It was her family's necklace. Yeah, it was a family heirloom, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't possibly. All right. U8 uh, was the old blacksmith shop, and U6 was the old store. Six is where the spiders are. Do you guys want to uh, take them out? Just kind of eliminate anything which might be a problem Absolutely. for tomorrow? I'll follow Soot's lead. All right. Um, so passing the smith shop, going to the store, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think so, and then we'll we'll go to the smith shop last. Okay. Bless will be gone now. Oh, That's thank you for that. Um, all right, so the store. And at an intersection near the middle of the village, a narrow lane winds up the steep hillside to the north. Directly to the south is a ruined building that might have been a store or workshop. Webs stretch across the lane from the building to the trees on the north side of the road. You don't see any spiders from your current vantage point. Okay. Gable, you see Soot, like, looking inside, and she kind of glances at you and, like, looks at you for a second and then reaches towards you and, like, fixes something on your face. Like, your fur was a little bit out of place, and she just, like, puts it back. And then kind of looks back inside. Word of the wise, darling. Always mm. ask first. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Oh, we are, darling. But consent is always a thing among friends. My apologies. No apologies needed, darling. Uh, he's going to... Uh, I hate to keep asking this question, but are there, win are there windows to this store uh, <laughs> that you can try and peek into? You can kind of see where you're at, and then the other entrance that's kind of where U6 is, it's kind of just like broken, like where doorways were. I'm going to okay. say this one does not have functioning windows at the moment because there's trees and stuff kind of growing up through it. Just glory uh, holes. Just glory holes. <laughs> of course. It was a glass blowing shop. Robert, I missed you so much. <laughs> you just let that fly, huh? <laughs> the intrusive it's thoughts. An town. Yeah, that's 100% an intrusive <laughs> thought that was given life. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send Ember in. <laughs> All right. I, that's fair. It's a reasonable thing to do. The backdoor cultist may have used this man first. Uh, she yelled, glory hold. <laughs> Stealthy. Um, <laughs> we're just looking at it. Got a keyboard I'm, now? I'm... We are now, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. All right. Sorry, I bumped, I bumped the fucking laughing thing. Too hard. I'm laughing. Oh, just fucking Robert is yelling glory holes out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. You watch as he goes in to. Hang on. To <laughs> giant spiders leap out and attack Ember. Hang on. Let me get some giant spider tokens here. That is a bunch of okay. A cloud giant. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I typed giant <laughs> spider, and this is really just put spider. It's just like I got two giant wolf spiders out. 
Ah, oh, you know, here we go, giant spider. Even though I typed literally, you guys saw me literally type giant spider, yeah. and it didn't show up, and then I typed spider, and it did. That is so on par for D and D Beyond search. It's not even funny. All right. Um, oh, they're so big. <laughs> they, they are very big. Uh, you know, I don't think it really sinks in until you have like the proper token to like yeah. get the scale. How did they squeeze in there? Oh, huh. you know they're they're. Legs are just all Ugh. gross and big. Gingly. Ugh. LB? What's the... <laughs> Coming! I was checking out my cat. What's uh the spirit? Does it have, like, AC yeah, and AC's stuff? AC's 13, and it's 15 HP. All right, so the one on the right will miss. The one on the left will bite the mm -hmm. ember for... Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Okay. And I'm gonna assume that it's immune to poison? Uh, it's immune to... Oh, thank you. Um, it's just immune to, immune to fire. It's immune really? to being, like, grappled and restrained. Okay, then it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. okay. Or take poison damage. Oh, no. Thirteen? Uh, it succeeds. Oh, half on a success. Uh, so it takes an additional five points of poison damage. Uh, oh, okay. They're not. They're not as bad as giant scorpions. No, not even close. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I had and scorpion, giant scorpion damage in my mind. And I, we're gonna see if this actually. Oh yeah, here. Let's move it all the way up to the front. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna roll for initiative. Ah! Yeah, I got the ah! thing to work. Um, dang, Bishop. All right, dang. I'm ready to go. What you got? Yeah. I got 11. a 20. 11. How about uh, Bron oh, there's Bronson? Gosh. 17. All right, let's go. That means I'm rolling yeah, yeah. twos on Dan. On my, uh... <laughs> and then I hear Sid got a four. Did I hear that? <clears throat> I did hear that also. Yeah, all right. Check our spider boys. Ooh, 19 on the die. Let's go, spiders. So, spiders go first. The one that, uh, you know what? This one here on the left, he is going to, oh, it only works on one creature. That's dumb. You would feel like a web would, like, you know, yeah. hit, like, a group, not, like, hey, a you're target. The boss, I know, but I'm not going to change I've it seen, up. Like, you're level I've three. Spider -Man's. That's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense, right? You're trying to just, like, yeah, whip you up over here. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, classic. Uh, no. So the one, the one on the right's gonna attack Ember again. The natural twenty. Mm. Ember, He's fine. That is. <laughs> go back to his, his realm. Sixteen points of piercing damage. I'll just go back home. He goes away. Farm. All right, Ember. Goodbye. I want him to burn in eight more peasants. And then this guy comes out. I think he burned in eight enough. And he goes for Bishop. Ah. Uh, that is... 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That is 11 points of piercing damage. All right. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. That is a 22. There All right, so that is only... 5 points of poison damage. All right. You are not I'll at zero be... hit points, yeah? No, Good. no, sir. Okay. I, uh, could, I agree. <laughs> well, bad things happen if that happens. Uh, it's your turn, though. All right, cool. I will uh, recoil back away from this thing, but not in a mechanical sense, just in a dramatic sense. Uh, and then I will go ahead and... <laughs> 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 Wait, do that. can you do that one more time for... Yeah, I'm gonna stab it right in the <laughs> mandibles if possible. Sure. All right. Uh, no bless now, but still a twenty to hit. That hits. All right. I will do another smite. My second smite for the day. Significantly stronger, it seems, than the cultists that you were just dealing with. That's fair. Uh, twenty-two points of damage. 
All right. Oh, it is still alive. It is ah. like it. It does the kind of spider like screech like and it recoils and it kind of does the thing where it starts to like fold up in on itself. Mm-hmm. Oh. But it has enough to like come back out and still be present. Uh, anything else? I've read about these things and uh, I, I really they said giant spiders, but I ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, yeah, I am going to lay on hands myself for 10 points. <laughs> All right. That's my bonus action, and that's it for me. All right. Uh, Bronson. Uh, how bloody do you look after that uh, lay on hands? I look uh, not very bloody. I look pretty good. <laughs> All right. Kind of like will... sexy hurt. Sexy hurt. We love sexy hurt. Uh, I, I, I shoulder soot a little. <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead, since we have two spiders... I will convert my channel divinity into a second level spell slot and I will recast bless. Okay. Hell yeah. And I will step forward and uh tell these spiders to get their shit together. Come at me. Come on, I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm 40. Uh, <laughs> greatest sports moments of all time. Uh, so oh, yeah. stupid. Uh, Gable, you're up. Uh, I don't like the situation. Fair. At all. So Gable's going to actually back up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's going to see if he lives up to the meme and is going to take a shot with his crossbow. Uh, with the intent of using the bolt. Sure. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting advantage because of. It's no advantage, but you will have sneak attack because you have allies within five feet. Uh, hold. Uh, twenty three to hit. Oh yeah. Okay. There and there. Uh, I'm gonna re use piercer to re-roll the one. Sure. Much better. Twelve, seventeen. Uh that is another twenty-two points of damage. <laughs> it curls up in on itself and it dies. I swear to God. I, I think this bolt is meant for killing, not charming, and I'm okay with it, but like Turns out fuck. in Zentarum, beguiling means killing. It's like it's just like <laughs> a weird little thing in the in in, in Zentarum language. Uh it the guiding bolt. Yeah. It did work out here. <laughs> um and then uh, anything else for you, Gable? Um I uh, I use the bonus action to activate the thing, so that is going to be my turn. All right. And then so it is now your turn. All right. So and there is a one spider one. and there is also behind it just a whole bunch of webs. Cool. Uh Sit walks forward very bravely and calmly past Bronson and Bishop. Uh she got to tilt her head to the side and uh, puts her hands forward, um, and she is going to cast a Scorching Ray on this thing. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Uh, how close are you getting? Um, I mean, I don't have to be that close, so... Well, if you're within five feet, you have disadvantage because it's a ranged attack. Okay, that's fair. I will not be within five feet. Got it. Oh, does a 13 hit? A 13? Don't does... forget the D4. Ooh, add that D... Then it will hit, because oh, yeah. it's a it's AC is fourteen, so, so you will cool. add very you will definitely hit. Bless up. <clears throat> Tally is now officially our bless advocate. Don't forget your D right. four. <laughs> so that's, that's three. Okay, for each ray. So I need to. I'm just gonna hand roll the other ones because because I yep. keep forgetting to turn off hardware acceleration. Uh, the second one does not hit with the D four too. With the D four, yeah, then the third one does. I rolled a fifteen, so okay. Uh, so two of them are gonna hit, so that's forty six damage. Yep. Oh damn. Um, Sixteen, seventeen fire damage. All right, this thing gets hit with those blasts, and it takes seventeen fire damage. It is still alive. Mm. Anything as a bonus action? I don't know if you have anything. Mm-mm. All right, uh, top of the round, it is the spider's turn. Spider comes for you. Mm-hmm. Gonna make a bite attack. That is kind of shit. So no. Um, <laughs> this is ten. I know that misses. 
Bishop. All right, I will move in and attempt to stab this here spider. Uh, for the Broskin Empire! That's right, for the Brosians. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. That hits. All right, fantastic. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'll use my last spell slot and uh smite away. Alright. Smite it so hard you oh, made Gable disappear. Bad, bad <laughs> smite. What you that, got? Uh, Dang it. A total of twelve damage. That's enough. <sighs> Let's go. How would you like to kill this last spider? Um yeah, I'm gonna I, as it goes after sir, I'm just gonna come up on the side of it and just stab it like th straight through the the thorax. What's the middle space between like the small part of the body and the big back part of the body? Uh, well, that would normally be a thorax, but spiders don't have one because ah. they're not an insect. Of course, they're an arachnid. Whatever the arachnid <laughs> equivalent of a of the skinny part is. <laughs> yeah, I got to. Uh, sure, you do that. A spider is dead, and soot. You watch as the kind of flames kind of roil off, and just start to kind of melt away all of the webs that were behind it. Uh, and they just kind of do that, like, you know, that very cinematic. And you see that they're in, in the corner was a cocooned, like, body. Oh. That, like, it goes away. And now it's, like, it's in the stages of digestion, as is mm. spiders would want Nearly to dead. do. Uh, but as the flames kind of flicker away, you can kind of see, like, the gooey goopiness and the flames kind of roil off. But you notice that, like, um, as it happens, like clothes kind of like are wisping off and there is a belt um, that kind of you see the leather gets singed on the belt and there's a sword there that, you know, it kind of rolls up. But all the armor, the studded leather armor that this gentleman is wearing oh. seems completely unaffected by the fire. Oh. And there is a belt pouch on his hip as well. Um Sorry, good. Yeah, just Soot leans up next to Bishop, like right by his ear, and just goes, "A present." I he does like that weird, like, "Oh, you're clo you're very, very close." Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you wear leather armor, do you not? I think it looks good. I think so too. Uh, <laughs> please, after you. Oh, I, I look back at Bronson, like, "Is this right?" <laughs> I get a big thumbs up from the woods. <laughs> One of the trees just <laughs> just out of yeah, out of frame. Here come uh, yeah. um. Now, is this resistance-looking fire? Like, there's no damage done to it, uh, or is it what Magic level looking armor? It 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 is not basic leather. Studded leather armor. I'll say that. It is definitely magical in some nature. There's not a fire mark on it at all. There's not scorch marks on it from the fire melting away the webs. Okay. 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 All right. You are level three. <laughs> I was cleaning shitters. Um, <laughs> looks valuable, definitely. We shouldn't let that go to waste. Bishop, would you mind grabbing that from me? Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll go in, I'll bust out my crystal and press the digitate everything there, and I'll be like, ah, whap, here you go, and I'll present it folded up for you. Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, in the belt pouch, too, you will find a potion of healing, Woo. which you guys know what those look like, along with 23 gold pieces and 35 silver pieces. The short sword at the belt does not seem to be anything more than a short sword. It looks like perhaps an unexpected adventurer met their demise. Uh, Didn't even have time to take his potion. No. Mm. Oh, however, uh, Bronson, I need you to roll me a percentile as you were looking in the glory holes. Uh, you spied something in one of the glory holes. <laughs> I usually have an advantage on these things, but I'll roll straight up. Um. Well, 
I'm not blushing. You're blushing. 30. 30. All right. Should have been 69. <laughs> uh, you find in this glory hole uh, a tiny platinum figurine of Bahamut that gives the bearer advantage on charisma checks with good dragons. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh. A good dragon was like a wine or something. <laughs> a good dragon wine. I mean, we could make it that if you want. <laughs> mm, I like it. Uh, by the way, just to let everybody know, uh, whenever we get into these combat states, I make sure to tell Pickles, yeah, get behind me. And he kind of, uh, he he's kind of like my coonskin cap. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Oh, that's 100%. great. Uh, uh, that that's... is the visual. He hangs on to my circlet, his head right there in the front, the tail wagging. Oh back my God, that's the best. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Pickles, we got some extra work to do here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand him the platinum statue because he's enamored with it sure uh, but i'm going to take a little bit of the ash that we picked up from the cultist room and uh while everybody else is taking care of this i'm going to perform ceremony and consecrate the ground and uh, we're going to send this one back where it came from and just kind of druid craft a bramble of white roses up and over the remains of the body over here in the corner sure gable is going to kind of stare off into space as he's looking at the body just for a little bit. Okay. I will not do my full ceremony until everyone's ex inspected properly. Sure. Gotcha. Delighted. It's wonderful that this one got a proper service. Yeah. I think so. Despite uh, all evidence to the contrary, I was not being sarcastic. It's... You know, you do have one of those voices. It can be difficult I to do. tell. No, I, I, it's a, a rare but welcome sight. Mm -hmm. Seems like a better waste of a spell to me, but... It's a ritual. Not my spot, so. <laughs> Gable's pupils shrink just a little as they look at Soot. Might be a waste for some. Might be a much-needed blessing to others. I believe care for the dead is something worth spending the time and energy on, but to each their own, obviously you prefer cremation. What can I say? Rituals are never a waste. It's just faster is all I'm saying. I didn't mean to offend. So how about that blacksmith shop? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys I'm are like... let that. out an audible dwarven gruff. <laughs> <clears throat> while I'm finishing up my work. I pat both of you on the shoulder as I walk past. I'm like, yep, okay. Uh, you gonna try it? You do armor suit? She starts right. taking off her clothes. Oh, I turned around. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh! Uh, anyway, Gable, how are you? I, I, Gable just attempts to, like, place their paw on, on Bishop's head and turn mm. it to look back. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Hey, what was that thing you said earlier about consent? <laughs> no, you know it is valid. Uh, I'm consenting. Uh, <laughs> it's just redder. It's just going like up the head. Uh, yeah, the as, shameometer is almost <laughs> bursting. <laughs> as you uh, put on this armor, uh, it uh, like resizes to fit you. Ooh. Um, as though it is magical in nature. Um. And you feel pretty good about it. Feels pretty lightweight. Feels uh, feels durable. Yeah. Would it yeah. happen to be the armor of weightlessness? No, it would not. Uh, oh, that'd be cool though. Mm -hmm. Trying to Specific enchantment. Yeah. No, no. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens when. Uh, okay. And if it's cursed or not, who knows? Uh, who knows, man. I love it. Um, I didn't check. I don't have to tech magic up right now. That's true. Uh, Actually, I'm yeah. so excited for studded leather. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, so the Smith shop, right? You were checking it out mm -hmm. there, Bishop? Yeah. Yes, yes. That's how I avoid awkward situations. I continue the plot. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, it basically, you can see that this has like a very large chimney, which kind of is, again, indicative of where you're going to have that much kind of heat 
going up through it for where the bellows and things are inside. And you can see, again, what you'd expect to be in a smith shop, right? Tongs, hammers, anvils, you know, stuff like that that'll stand the test of time. Some of it maybe has some rust on it. Um, but you can see there is a cabinet um, that's kind of half buried underneath uh, a collapsed roof. Um, and then inside it, you can see there's like a a leather satchel with like a the sun kind of shining in is gleaning off of something. Okay. Well, I, I definitely want to check out that leather satchel and sure. what it, it's gleaning off of. Sure. When you look inside, you find... Give me a number. It's filled, according to this, the satchel, with strange diamond-shaped plates of brown gold color. Uh, what? Why? Why do you not give me a number? Each, each, each is about the size of a human hand, light in weight, and tough as iron. Uh, okay. And it gives me a dollar. A hidden way to say bronze. Uh, yes, that's exactly what it is. Um, I'm sorry, brass. It's so my mistake. Unnecessary. Um, let me. I, I, all right. So I will. I will. Let me. I'll read it to you. And there's okay. actually, you know what? Make me an arcana check real quick, there, Bishop. Say, Ted, oh, we need you to read that? this with the most serious and like Lord of the Rings narration tone possible. Ooh, eighteen. All right. Fine. I will do that. I will also remind you that this is not box text. This is descriptive text for the DM. So it's just, it's not like written to be said dramatically. It's just written as text. Can you please read it as Tilverton for me? <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> sure. Not in a Lord of the Rings seriousness. It contains a large leather satchel filled with strange diamond shaped plates of brown gold color some would call it bronze others brass mm -mm, who knows uh each is about uh the size of a human hand light in weight but tough as iron you know bishop the plates are brass dragon scales which can be sold to an armorer or someone else for 75 gold pieces in total. However many there are, it does not say. Probably not enough to make a, anything scale like mail? a shield out of or scale mail. It d <laughs> a, a large we'll satchel to me feels like maybe enough, but. Yeah, it like. We'll, we'll ask till Whatever it is, it equals 75 gold pieces worth of material. I would have liked a number like there's 10 of these and they say they're like, what they say? They're the size of a human hand. Right. Yeah. So like, but that's a pretty a large satchel. Oh yeah. That's a, dude, which that's is big. like, that's a laptop bag. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I mean. Like that's, that's yeah. a, like maybe it's not enough to do like a full set of like scale mail. Also, when you look at the draconic scale mail picture, they're like tiny scales. Yeah, these so, are big scales. It was yeah. a big dragon. Correct. We, scale mail only comes from the, the babiest of dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Aww. really wants to have that conversation about where scale mail, <laughs> draconic scale mail comes from. There's a whole the way, sinister trade about that. <laughs> Ted, give yourself an inspiration. <laughs> wow, uh, what is so inspiring? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Foo Fighters. <laughs> Foo Fighters. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I will pocket these. Um, does there seem to be anything else in here, or that's most of it? That is all of it, really, but I'll let you roll percentile there, Jake. I'll give you a trinket oh. for free for, oh. your, for your awkwardness. I'll take it. You escaped so eloquently from that awkward situation that you found a trinket. All right, 62. <laughs> diving through a window. <laughs> Uh, okay, interesting. This is a, sh you find also, it's a smith shop, so this makes sense. A shield that has a built-in scabbard for your sword. Oh, that's really cool. Fancy. Look what I found, guys. <laughs> Check out this shield. It must be brogia to make because it fits my sword. It is, yep. Indeed. 
quite a find. And also these dragon scales. <laughs> oh. oh my. Look at the what way color? they shine. Uh, brass. So metallic in nature. But um, yeah, they were in the shop there while you guys were uh, chatting. I thought I'd Pi go check it out. <laughs> Pickles is going to leap to your arm and just have the biggest eyes as he looks at that brass plate. He's going to like, he's going to like spit on his little paw. He's like, <laughs> like shine. Oh, I'll give him a bunch. He can have a little, he can have a little <laughs> scale for himself. Yeah. yeah. Pickles holds it up. Yeah, he's a good boy, Pickles. No, I'll I'll pet him. <laughs> no, Pickles, we're gonna have to use that for greater good. It's make sure and put that back in the sack when you're done, you know, <laughs> hoisting it. <laughs> Pickles, the little sun god of Alina. He's the sun, Pickles. I will make a cart. <laughs> no pickles. The power's gone straight to your head. <sighs> me, me, right. me like power. Me, me, me. Yeah, there uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> me like me like shiny scale. Me develop cult for me to worship sun. Right. Uh, uh, do you guys want to go check out the garrison, or do we feel like we've found success? I believe we found the success that we were hoping for, at least for now. Garrison could provide us with something else we can use against the dragon, possibly. All right. I'm pretty spent of my abilities, but I'm willing to go give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Why not? Live can someone little. ping where the garrison is? That's garrison the, is U11. Can somebody send an atom bomb to where the garrison is? Yes. There it is. <laughs> Thank it you. It is getting closer yeah. over to the yeah. tower. Ooh. Okay, that's 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 in range of sight now. Uh, All right, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with getting a nap in. That's fair. Let's go tell Rydoth about our wild successes. Oh, I'm gonna go grab the uh, robes and masks from all the cultists, and I'm gonna drag all the cultists inside uh, their bunk before we head back. There's nothing left of them. Yeah, there must have well, been. Well, there's oh. the two that were outside. Yeah, the so. two you guys killed outside. One of them's naked. Yeah. Yes. I mean, um, it is skivvies. Yeah. So I'll grab the other cultist's robes and mm -hmm. stuff and drag him inside. As everybody is sort of doing their thing, Gable is actually going to approach the body of the adventurer. Mm hmm. And leave one of the strangely marked bones that I got from the. Um, the banshee, mm, mm -hmm. and just like lay it on top of their chest. Okay. And just say, "Sorry, friend. If it means anything, we took care of him for you." And then he is going to step away and rejoin the others. All right. All right. So eventually, after all your little things are handled, you make your way back to. Rydoth, who is, you know, in the midst of doddering around vials and potions and things. Um, she's like, oh, well, how did it go? Did you slay the dragon? You didn't slay the dragon, did you? <clears throat> well, that's good, because I managed to make one of these poison resistance potions. Yes, we're going to need several of those, I fear. Well, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do more than just the one with the materials that I have. But here's one. Whoever wants it. Absolutely. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd actually recommend that goes to Bronson. Actually, Bronson. Gable, I've uh, been bitten uh, once or twice by a spider in the ass and have survived, so... Uh, you can pass this on to someone else. Fair enough. Got a strong constitution for the such. <laughs> yes, well, we are going up against a dragon. This is just a snake bite. For sure. Um, speaking of going up against a dragon, mm -hmm. uh, do I have that box of Tilvertons? Oh, I see. Um... Oh, you do see. I, I would like to buy things if I could. <laughs> oh. Uh, hmm. That's a good question. I didn't give you a list for this week. 
So that's... Well, we figured you gave us the list for last did week. Did I and we didn't? Uh, did I? Okay, I couldn't remember if I did or not. You uh, did, so okay. uh, we, we have that. Okay. Uh, and we talked about buying stuff already, and uh, I did the prices out, and I just need to know what the delivery fee is. All right, let me uh, look up the spell real quick. I just want my I love my moth girlfriend shirt. Uh, let's see. Okay, it takes how long to cast? All right. Uh, we will say. Um, as soon as the lid of the chest is closed, the element of the chest disappear. Ah, that's the trick, though. I will. <clears> hmm. <throat> as soon as the lid of the chest is closed, the elemental in the chest disappear. And reappear adjacent to the target. Target creatures on another plane. Uh, yeah, I. So th I guess technically, having reread the spell, the chest does disappear when you send it back to him the first time, which was again the first one is free. It is okay. a fourth level spell to do this. Aha. Uh -huh. So we're talking in like, like, now that we've established there is a delivery service. Mm -hmm. you would need the scrolls of that spell to cast it to be uh, able to do it. Um, oh, come on. The, the magic transportation across the, you know, anywhere at any time. It's for Tilverton. Mm -hmm. Tilverton alone. Uh-huh. No, it's actually... It's, it's, for, it's, it's proprietary. A, it's actually Galder's Speedy Courier, a fourth-level spell for arcane casters. Galder, give us a break. I mean, Golder probably would. There's a long, interesting story about the wizard behind all of Golder's spells. Um, uh, whatever you rule. I, having What's not that? really explained it in the past completely, I will give you one instance of this without, like, this is the last one, then you'll need to go and purchase those scrolls ahead of time. Because we did kind How of just a step. are those scrolls? That is a wonderful question. I'm feeling like well, it's... Well, I have Tilverton Prime, so... That's true. You, you know, do yeah, but... you, you do pay a fee yearly for that to yep. get that kind of... gold yearly yep. to get, hey, get the delivery. It? It's 98 gold now, man. It's inflation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I feel like just thinking about the pricing on a fourth level spell scroll, I feel like we're in like the 200 to 250 range for the, something like that. <laughs> Why you gotta make fantasy as bad as like Postmates over here? This is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the, there's the fee. Well, you know, you do get, you actually are saving a little bit of money because you have Tilverton Prime. You can get... Um, Tilverton video, Tilverton well, what? Music. Yeah, and whatever the equivalency. Like what about like 10% of the the... The items, the cost of the items. Why don't we lay down a percentage? That is actually almost exactly the percentage what? you have right now. Yeah. 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 Um, Plus our, minus our discount that we have. What are we buying, by the way? I don't even oh. know. Oh, well, we talked about it as a group last it's been time. So lo it's been so long. Uh, the belt buckle of Magic Missile, which is a wad of Magic Missile, but mm -hmm. as a belt buckle, <laughs> and the Cloak of Protection. Excellent. Which is, in fact, uh, attunement. But yes. we have the space for it right now. So if anybody else has any other thoughts, it's in the Tilverton's treasures in the Discord. But those were my thoughts. I see no problem. Also, I just want to point out that if you were to follow the 5e rules, you're looking at, for a non-consumable item of this, Anywhere between 2,500 and 3,500 gold pieces, and you would cut that in half for a consumable. So, tell me the odds. Yeah. <laughs> so putting it, putting it at 250. for the price. You asked! <laughs> yeah. Uh, putting it at 250 is actually a steal. Like, that's a second level spell price. Uh, so. I got no problems with it, man. I'm whatever you whatever you think is the right amount. I think that that's perfectly cool. If you said it was, you said it was two hundred. Well, regard. I haven't told you what it is, but you got a freebie, so you use okay. your freebie 
We'll establish the yeah, price we'll when wait. you get back to town. All right. Well, I want it first. Um, who's getting these items? Yeah, who needs to deck themselves out? Let's go. I mean, a- anybody could you? Well, who's Gable already has a cloak, so and he's, he's a, out it, for the cloak, and he's attuned up. You only and have two slots right him. now. Remember, we're going with the uh, attunement equals proficiency bonus, so everybody's only at two slots yeah, right now. I only, I yeah. have one item, so I could take the 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 belt thing. Buckle the belt buckle yeah. is non attunement. Oh, dope. The because the wand of magic missile is also non attunement. Right. Cool. Hmm. I'd love that. Oh, yeah. Be right back. I just thought it would be more interesting to make it a belt buckle. I also have not designed what the belt buckle looks like, but it will be garish and noticeable, whatever it's the it is. It's piece from, uh, <laughs> from Dust Till Dawn. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the Teddy. new star! Look at the new star of the show! Oh, yes. Look at this. Okay, bye! Oh, I was uh, thinking it could look like the, uh, the Mistrin Seven Stars, but like giant on a or like just like a big old rodeo belt, belt buckle yeah. big old yeah, yeah. oh yeah dude All right. sit with a big ass Taylor belt buckle Moon's let's go yeah basically yeah, yeah. and it like spins on it and then yeah all right we can make it a big old mistran seven star symbol that spins it's a spinner belt buckle oh, yes queen oh then... oh oh wait there's another thing if this is if we're establishing this we just established mistra one of the people who travels with Mistra. We met our good friend right. Towley. Right. So not only yeah. does this spin to fire off magic missiles, but you can also take the center of it out and it will be a bowl. A bowl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it. versatile. LB was right on it. <laughs> she knew where I was going with it, I feel like. Uh, We're on yeah. the same page. I'm, I know about the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs. All right, uh... uh Robert, you want to do a roll off for the cape then? No, because I'll always be looking for heavier armor, and mm-hmm. I'm at 19. So let you take the uh, take the cloak, man. Get you up to 19. All right, cool. I think while I'm you guys are doing this, no. there's a point where uh, redheaded, so it just like it looks like she's kind of struggling, and she just like says no very loudly, and then punches the wall. And then as she does so, uh, she lowers back down uh, and her hair turns back to brown. No, I won't be. Ow! I won't be getting back my security deposit. (laughs) You all right? So? You were going for... Oh, we we beat the cultists and then we fought some giant spiders and that worked great too. Um, And you were... Happy to burn, but okay otherwise. Okay, what am I wearing? This is new armor that you got. You, um, did change kind of out and about, but, uh, nobody was watching, so that's okay. Uh, okay. definitely, definitely blushing a little again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but look at these nice new things we got. Oh! Cool. And here's this, this belt buckles for you. For me? Thank for you! you. And she puts it out and like spins it, and it does the. I I hear like a revolver spin. Sure. You know, what yeah. it sounds like in my head. Thank you. You um, are welcome. Oh, we here really... also this Tilverton. <laughs> Slap your armor with the Tilverton <laughs> scroll. Ah! Yeah, and now emblazoned on the the chest of your. Uh, armor is Tilverton's logo. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anything else? Uh, I can't think of any. You guys think of anything else? Uh, are we gonna sleep now? Rest here for the night. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Are we gonna deal with the dragon now? I mean, like on this outing. We should have a vote. I vote yes. I vote yes as well. Right off. Okay. Right or die off. <laughs> we have the element of surprise now. Okay. Uh, 
I could be a cultist again, I guess. I mean, sneak it up and do it. It worked so very well last time. Yeah, I thought it'd be harder, honestly. Knock on wood. I mean, we're going to fight a dragon. It's going to be very difficult. But we're going to do great. Anybody else feel like this is foolhardy? Don't get me wrong. I understand the need for this beast being removed. And saving the lives of those who would be harmed by it in the future. But we are simple adventurers. And perhaps it was discovering the body of another adventurer who fell to those giant spiders that has me thinking that we might be biting off a little bit more than we can chew at the moment. Gable, the problem that that adventurer had is that he didn't have a team with him because the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Together, we're stronger than any of our individual abilities. That tracks. It's the nature, nature, you know. That's, I mean, I see it all the time. All right. Look, if I'm not going to push you into this, man, if you don't, if you honestly feel like we shouldn't do this right now, and that it's better to... Uh, tactically pull out of the town here, I, that's fine. I I certainly wouldn't want to go in without a unanimous vote for yes. With my wisdom saving throw on an eight, <laughs> I'm going to gesture for Gable to come and join me outside as I begin to pack a, a small corn cob pipe. Gable will join. Hey. Here, guys, bring Richard out so he can... <clears throat> Use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ew, uh, there's a lot of moral reasons I can come up with why we should take this dragon out in the tower after these handful hours of sleep. But I'm going to be honest with you. I want to know what it's sitting on. There ain't ever been a dragon that I've encountered that wasn't holding something incredible. You'd be willing to risk your life, whatever riches lie beneath it. A good chunk of my ancestors have died and been buried far, far into the mountain for much less. The pursuit of life is to live and adventure this is one collector that deserves what they get. Well, I suppose it's time to be big dumb heroes, isn't it? It's <laughs> time to be a little bit greedy for ourselves. Perhaps Bastion's right. Perhaps together we are more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. That we are. And I think we deserve the spoils. Well... I don't think I'll get very far on my own, so I suppose all for one and one for all. All for one. Stand outside and finish up my pipe Uh, into the evening. Gable will eventually make his way back inside and find a corner and curl up. All right. Uh, The party... We'll get a long rest. All your stuff you get from a long rest will return. Are we yeah. taking watches? Ooh, uh, that's... For sure, yeah. yeah. All right. we, sure, we sure can't not take watches. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Soot would want to take watch with Gable for just like a little bit of overlap on it. Sure. And I think like while everyone's sleeping, she's pretty. She's pretty quiet, um, and then she just says, "Can I tell you something kind of silly?" Always. I don't really care if people see me change. You know, like. I mean, this is just a form. <laughs> it's not my form. It's the one I choose the most, I guess. You'd be surprised how many in this world do not share that same fearlessness of vulnerability. 
that's the thing. I don't think it's vulnerability because it's just like it's. I mean, it's not really my body. <laughs> it's impressive, and it's a gift, for sure. What makes you say that? What brought this up? I don't know. When Bishop said, "Oh, don't worry, none of us watched you," I was like, my first thought was just like, "Oh, I, I don't really care about that." Mm. Well, if I know Bishop, he's the most gentlemanly gentleman that I've ever met. As frustrating as that sounds, the last thing that Bishop would do would be to intend any minor slight on literally anybody or anything if it meant losing out on an opportunity to make a new friend. Yeah. He's Plus, a very nice guy. him taking the consideration, even if it is something that you consider trivial, means that there's some sort of bond that he doesn't want to risk. Okay. But regardless, thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah. Hey, when you talked to us before, a couple days ago, you kind of changed the way you talk. Like, this was not the true you. Sometimes the mask fits snugly and is difficult to remove. I am... And he's, he's, he's trying. Don't do well in groups. Um, I've shared a little bit of what happened to me. And the truth is that those people were considered family. Uh, so pulling down the walls sometimes, it's a challenge. It's easier to hide behind the mask of the gentleman duelist than to just be me. I think if anyone understands that, I do. But usually... I'm just me all the time. I mean, personality-wise, at least. And I just... I mean, even when I get hurt, I just... I don't know. I don't think about it. And then it doesn't hurt so much. Hmm. That is a wonderful gift. Yeah, I guess. We'll be all right tomorrow. I hope so. I Can feel... Sure. The other me? The other side? Yes. Does she seem like she's going to hurt anyone of you? I make it a point to be able to read people. It's one of my favorable skills. And I am puzzled by the other you. It is both infuriating, but also intriguing. I don't know how to answer that question. I don't believe this other you is malicious. If anything, I believe the other you has a lust for something. Like existing without the chains that everyday people wear. Feeling the freedom to do or say whatever you wish without fear of consequence. And I feel like the other soot relishes in that feeling. And while that might be admirable to some, it is still quite dangerous in certain aspects. So in truth, I don't know how to answer that question. Well, I think I trust you enough. So if it gets to a point where she's more dangerous and not worth having around, you have to tell me so I can leave. This fear of yours, how long have you lived with it? This idea that you must ferry yourself away from the people you find intriguing? Um, well, just when I started turning into a pyromaniac with no memory of what happened? <laughs> I suppose that's a valid point. But 
what makes you think that if even if you did leave, that we wouldn't find our way back to you? I know. I, that's the thing. Like, I just, I don't want to be the cause of pain for any of you guys. Like, if I can't control that other side of me, and she starts hurting you guys, whether it's with her nasty words or with her making moves on people for no reason whatsoever or using fire on people, like... Trust us to handle the situation to bring you back. Because I guarantee you, those two... I don't believe they could imagine a moment traveling and having these adventures without you being a part of them. Whether you believe you're causing them pain or not. But don't worry. Should your other side become a problem, we will find a way to move past it. On the same token, <laughs> whether knowingly or not, by assisting me, you've in a way, got a target on your back from the Zentarim. I thought I did that. <laughs> you almost were recruited by the Zentarim. Yeah. That kind of happens to me. Just kind of accept things through the way people tell me they are, and then oops! Hmm. Cultists! <laughs> <laughs> it's a charm of yours. Yeah. If we are to travel together, we should learn to trust each other. I trust so. you. <laughs> if only because it's still relatively new. And given my history with people, be careful when you say that. I'll never do anything to outwardly harm any of you, but I also don't want to, similar to you, be the cause of any pain so it's it's a nice gesture for you to say such things i'll just have to get used to hearing them okay i don't really lie about stuff so we'll teach you <laughs> look if senneth couldn't do it i don't know if you can <laughs> well this senneth sounds like a right douchebag <laughs> no he's not he's just <laughs> You know, he doesn't really understand how money works. That's mm. really the crux of everything. You're right. That definitely relinquishes the title of douchebag. You should get some sleep. Okay. You're safe. Do you think I should change my form? I believe that that is a question that you should be asking yourself. Whatever form you choose to take is one that we will support lovingly. You know, this is just always the one I stick to. It's a good look. Thanks. You should get some sleep. Okay. Don't stay up too late. Make sure you wake up Bronson with a nice hot cup of coffee. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes time for Bronson to take the next watch, I slowly approach, just like a cat, and get right up, right up here, and I just take my paw... And I just <laughs> press it against his face. <laughs> Still got ten more minutes. I'll I'll let another like five seconds go by, and I'll do it again. Pickles, come on! <laughs> Don't quit messing with me. Uh, at that point, he's just gonna be like, "Ah, oh, well, the moment's gone," and he's just gonna slap. <laughs> slap <laughs> Pickles, oh shit! Cable, mm. uh, right. <sighs> Is it, uh, come on, Pickles. If I don't get to sleep, you don't get to sleep. <laughs> Bounce over and hop up on uh, my shoulder. Uh, and I look at him in his adorable eyes and I go, N No, you can go snuggle with Gable, Sut, and Bishop. And I send him back over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll curl up like near Sut's like, feet. Mm. And then as pickles comes over i'll like begrudgingly like allow them to like sit next to me all right oh yeah well 
Uh, if there's no other deep, meaningful roleplay conversations to be had, <laughs> uh, we can complete this long rest and I shoot. take a middle-aged man piss. I ponder the, <laughs> I ponder when I'm going to get that, that blonde Corvette over in Leland. And... <laughs> when you hide on the internet? <laughs> I give Teddy the scratches. Um, Teddy says hi. But yeah, uh, we can jump to the next morning. Uh, and it's time to maybe get killed by a dragon. Or not. Okay. You're, you're rude. Yeah, well, I have that prerogative. So, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, uh, all things that need to be attuned to or what have you guys have done, so that's a thing. Mm -hmm. What's going on with my armor, Ted? <laughs> I'll tell you when it becomes relevant. Heard. Okay. Do uh, I add to my AC at all? I'll tell you when it becomes relevant. Heard. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so, um, anyway, uh, it's the morning. What do? Uh, oh, good. Well, let's have some tea for everybody. <laughs> that sounds like a nice little start to the day. And then I suppose, uh, uh, we have a bit of a dragon to kill, folks. Yeah. First question. Hmm. Who's drinking the potion? Well, I don't usually get hit, so... Well, it's the dragon's breath is the issue. I think only Gable might be able to consist... Well, I don't know. Are you planning on getting into the dragon's face? What's your plan of attack? Ranged? Ranged, if possible. If things get hairy, then I may have to move in. The dragon, if I'm attacking from range <laughs> and dealing a considerable amount of damage... They are pretty smart. They might try to find me. So I might take a shot and uh, find some cover or try to hide as often as I can. All right. Um, I can give uh, one person protection from poison, too. It's going to take up one of my slots, but that's okay. These are all great. Um... I also have prepared protection from poison as well. <laughs> I mean, morning. I don't have to. It's the beginning of the day. I can do whatever. That means we could all have resistance. However, that will be giving up bless. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because it's concentration. Which, so, uh, protection from poison is non-concentration. Oh, okay. Bless is concentration. Uh, dragon hides are tough. You guys are going to have to choose what boon you want. I also uh, can hold, um, have access to hold person. That ain't going to hold the dragon, baby. It's not a person. This is true. Dragons aren't people. Oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Somewhere, hey, hey, a man's feeling <laughs> Um. Okay, great. I... I like the idea uh, of uh, what what level spell is protection from poison or whatever it is. Dose two. Okay. Um, <clears throat> everybody mitigated on half damage on the breath weapon is pretty powerful, but also we're gonna have to hit this thing. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a tough call. Now maybe I don't cast aid. That's yeah. five hit points uh, that's missing from everybody off the top mm. for a swap of poison resistance. I think we need to keep it grounded, too. That's going to be important. Sure, as much as possible. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I think... I think bless is necessary. Mm -hmm. Bless is necessary. Bless is necessary. <laughs> Correct. Right. My dog. Aid, can you aid versus can you, protection, you from protection from poison as a spell? Uh, that is a great question. She is really not supposed to be too heavily involved. Let me see what she's got. Uh, she's well, you know here. what? I did say that she had passes out trace, which means she has at least a second level spell slot. Okay. Perfect. So Perfect. I will let her cast protection from poison on one of you. Great. So then if we have that, <clears throat> the potion, and the other protection from Soot, then I think we're in a good place to have Bless and 
Bless and aid. Two. Got it. Bless and aid. Great. Uh, All right. Gable, you and I will save up abilities for in the fight. How's that sound? It works for me. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. say, with this crossbow being silent, taking a shot and hiding should should prove to be a feasible strategy, at least at first. Absolutely. And I will use, uh, right before we go in, I'll use my um, channel divinity to give us advantage on wisdom, charisma, and uh, intelligence saving throws. Okay. Should I do, should I try to do Earthbind, or should I do another high-level um, Oh, sorry, I just saw the, all the magic missiles. I was like, ooh, what's this? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, or should I do, like, a moonbeam? Like, keep moonbeam, wither and bloom? A wither and bloom might be useful to have the, the extra healing. Okay. Chat um, says, Cujo, just shoot it with a silent shot. You'll kill it in one hit. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, fine. <laughs> yep. Just keep the meme going. It'll be great. <laughs> and then the second oh, actually, dragon shows up. Ah! Uh, yeah. we, we have to be standing in the uh, spot for Wither and Bloom, don't we? Well, you have to be in an area. I don't remember what the area of effect is for that it's one. It's a 10-foot radiant sphere. Okay. But we I also have Wither and I have... Yeah. Crossbow is, if I am shooting and hiding, I will not be able to use the charm effect. And truth be told... If everything I've heard about dragons is true, yeah. it'll be able to resist its effects pretty handily. So don't yeah. expect me to be able to charm this one. Mm. Very well. Fair. Well, who here right. doesn't have some sort of ranged ability if the dragon doesn't, uh, if the dragon does happen to take off? Because I have my longbow, you've got the crossbow, you have ranged cantrips, both of you. I have a crossbow, a heavy crossbow, actually, and nice. my range cantrip. Okay. Um, but you do have, well, I, so, I mean, right off, you would be, you would find us driving Venom Fang off to be an acceptable conclusion, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good. So then I think that that's about the best we could hope for. I mean... If we earthbind the dragon, then it's stuck fighting to the death. It can't make the attempt at escape. True, true. You know, oh, so if things are close, true. I'd say I'd say the more damage we can deal quickly, the faster and better this is going to work for us. Okay. So mm -hmm. do we want to? Do we want me to cast protection from poison on someone? Yes. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. So we'll have. Uh, Bronson, naturally resistant to protection from poisons and a potion, so we're all good to go. Correct. Let's do Wonderful. this. And uh. then we will also have Pass Without Trace, and I'll give Rydoth a letter to my family in Luskin, in case we all die. Uh... Okay. Nope. No. Sure. Okay. Just I do case. have Gentle Repose selected as well. <laughs> just in case, just I die. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. So, do we want me to be a cultist? I say we sneak up, and if that doesn't work, you'll be cultist number one. I'll be cultist number two. And I'll okay. throw on the cloak and the, the mask. All right. So, we head towards the old tower, yeah? Yeah. All right. So, at the top of the hill stands a round tower with a cottage attached. Both are in relatively good condition, although half of the tower's roof is gone. A door leads into the cottage, and several arrow-slit windows are visible in the tower. You notice an eerie quiet in the area and a strange, acrid smell in the air. The corpses of two giant spiders sprawl near the edge of the pathway, apparently dragged there. Their bloated bodies are puckered and blistered and appear to have been mauled by some large animal. You know what that large animal is. That'd be a dragon. Indeed it would. So. Go uh, ahead. I would like to keep my hood up pretty much the whole time. Sure. We are doing this. What is the uh, plan? 
stealth up. Stealth up. See if we can get our All right, hand. let's get that stealth checks, people. Oh, God. Is that with Pass Without Trace from uh, Yep. Oh, boy. 27. 26. Okay. Just always a little sneakier. 15. All right. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, all right. With Pass Without Trace, it go, it's a 15. Or 25 with Pass Without 25 Trace. 25 with Pass. Jeez, Bronson, the stealthiest, sneaking around. Peter Griffin his way. <laughs> All the way up. <laughs> um, all right. So position yourselves where you want to be. You do not see the dragon atop the tower, presumably inside. I'm. And from this vantage point, unless it try like from outside, unless it tries to leave out the top, you cannot see it. You could try to scale the outside of this tower to peer down in on it, or you can try to just go in through the doors. Fucking One hell. of us has a climbing speed. We do have I'm... a potion of climbing. Well, that's that true. Is, that is also true. I can take that. Yeah. Go for it. Are we I'm climbing? Right. We're doing this. We're climbing the tower. I, I, I'm leaving that right. purely up to you guys. You can. You could just try to sneak in. You're pretty stealthy. Sneak in the door and then pop in the other door and be like, surprise, bitch. Ah! Also, you guys could go in. You could climb up top, right? Climb speed plus potion of climbing. You guys are on top. You're ranged. Mm -hmm. And then if we can't all get hit with the breath weapon at the same time if me and Bronson go in through the front. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a strong climber as well. <laughs> Tell me what you wanted, want me to do. I'm a weak climber. I'm going to go through the front door. <laughs> Let me let me see what I can find, okay? All right. No, we also have this potion of invisibility, if you'd like. I, I'm climbing with six. My stomach's I'm just already a little upset. I'm rolling. Okay. Oh, oh, you know, I guess I could say, for the purposes, before anybody rolls anything, although the rolls right. may have already been queued because they take forever in D&D Beyond, um... Well, I'll say that Rydoth was able to, uh, as a magic user, identify, um, we'll say in the nighttime, she was able to identify that potion that you'd gotten, but you didn't know what it was, as a potion yeah. of flying. Oh, wow. Oh. wow, oh. wow, wow. Wait. I just push it in Bishop's hands. <laughs> Dragon Me? Slayer. No, no. Yes. Absolutely you. Oh. Yes. Okie dokie. Up. Cheers. <laughs> who just out of curiosity, who drank the potion of uh poison resistance? Uh could have been could have been any of the three of us. Me. I'll I'll have had it. Okay. In my tummy. Are you using I don't know, we'll see. I mean I had a lot of fun with it, so maybe. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Were you drinking the potion of climbing too? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are we all going up? Are we oh, all climbing? Hang on. Flying? Hang on. Are you really drinking both? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Let's fucking do I it. Mean, let's yeah. let's have a fun time and oh. live in the world of potion missability. Oh. You drank a back to back. Give it go yeah. ahead and let me find the roll. Because I had the best time and it forever shaped mm -hmm. my character. Uh, and his crippling potion addiction. So let's find out what happens when you mix these two potions together. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. I didn't know this was a fun. potential consequence. <laughs> I didn't know I either. Did. Well, she did, but I didn't oh, know. She, <laughs> she did it, okay. so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know why you're, you're worried about it, Jake. Uh, one time he became omniscient, okay? Yeah, right. that's true. I did learn. I got to know whatever I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Oh, God, where the hell is it? Is it up here under magic items? Uh, okay, roll me a percentile, please. That's okay, it. Okay. Oh, boy. 55 again. Weird. Okay, nothing happens. Everything works as intended. Oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> Listen, right, you shoot yeah. for that you shoot for that hundred, man. That's true. You could be permanently right. resistant to poison. Start climbing up the wall. All right. Oh. 
Well, right. if we're doing potions, I'm gonna give Gable the potion of invisibility. Okay. I don't know if he's gonna drink it, but he's got it. Th thank, thank you. In case my my stealth is shit, I will uh, partake. Or if you need, to... away, I was gonna say, or you need to run away. <laughs> Valid. Um. <laughs> Oh, you desperately Don't... need advantage on an attack. <laughs> uh, That's kind of what I was hoping would be the thought. All right, Bronson, it's it's not uh, terribly difficult to climb tower. You're able to climb it with your athletics check. Okay. So Soot and Bronson are climbing up the outside, and Bishop's going through the front door. I, well, if I'm going to fly, yeah, I'll still I'll fly through the front door. You know, I'm going to walk through the front door after I check for traps. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to let the dragon know I can fly. Oh, it's a secret fly. I it's see. a secret fly. Uh, what you think coming through the top with everybody else? Yeah. All why right. bother checking for traps when we're going? We're, we're scaling to the top. All right. I'll scale to the top with everybody else. All right, Gable. You're going over the top too. I have a minus two to my strength. <laughs> But you have a you climb, have a speed, climb speed. speed. You're a tabaxi. You can just climb. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've got a thirty foot climb speed. Yep. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's why the zoomies get super fun because then you can like just <laughs> climb on the wall and run. Uh. All right. So would everybody like to place themselves where they're going to be climbing? Yeah. Like what position they're going to be in. Cool. There's yeah. really only one answer here, yeah, and that's everybody someplace else. Awesome. Yeah, not yeah. together is the answer. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. So you guys are climbing. You make your way to the top of the tower. Mm -hmm. I will say, for all intents and purposes, uh, because we said the top of the tower was um. Let's see, a single room. Oh, it is forty feet up. Is the top of this tower. And like the top of it, it looked like it went higher, but it was cleaved off to allow uh, the the dragon to kind of come and go as it wishes. So you scale the 40 foot tower. You feel as though you've done a pretty good job on a stealth. Let's find out. Ooh, Baldur's That's... Gate battle music engaged. Oh, yeah, right. For real. Um no! <laughs> no! Uh <clears throat> I'll take it on uh that versus the uh you know maybe a claw or a bite attack, you know? Yeah. That so the is still young, Robert. <laughs> what it was everybody's stealth scores? Does everybody remember? 26 27 and <laughs> Okay. So everybody you guys are doing real good. Uh, you're not. Yeah. And you are. Uh, everybody's quiet because so it's not not quiet. Like you are doing a pretty good job. But when you sort of kind of crest the top or you guys are all up there, what's your plan when you all get to the top? Let me hear that first. Look down and see where the dragon is. Okay. <laughs> I mean, everyone's gonna try all at once. Yeah, and I'm planning is... on going down in there. Okay, mine is the cast blast up and over. the minute somebody does something. So, so here's what I'll say. Why don't so a bunch of you? It's not surprised, but it doesn't know necessarily that several of you are there. Because of your stealth checks. Mm -hmm. So. Let's go ahead and. We'll roll for initiative. We'll get that established now. We'll figure out what the order is going to be. Please. Don't fuck with me. 21. Oh, no, 14. Sorry. <laughs> the dice looks like yeah, it's 20. on a 17. Let's oh. Go. oh. Okay. Yeah. 14. Good you news. got a 22 for Bronson. Dirty 20. Dirty oh, 20 yeah. for Gable. All right. Hello. Eleven for soot. <clears throat> How's our dragon? Okay. Again. Twice in a row. Oh, fucking good. Good. Fucking spend him, baby. Get him out of the way. But but 
That being said, Bronson's still gonna go first. So, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <sighs> the uh, it, it nobody like you're not get it's not getting the jump on you. You're not getting the jump on it. But Bronson, you are up first, my friend. You're at the top. You see this thing kind of like it seemingly like it was curled up and it kind of does that like it raises its head and kind of is like peering up above go ahead are, and are you allowing my bless to have been sure. out of combat okay yeah I, I mean either way i feel like it would be an un, it would be a reasonable thing to like as soon as you got close to the top to cast it because once you go over that top yeah. you ain't it, that's combat I feel like. So I'll I'll allow the blessed to have gone off right beforehand. Could I, I also have done my channel divinity right beforehand? Sure. Great. I will climb the mountain. <laughs> ah! A first level. Oh god. Inflict oh, god. uh inflict wounds. Okay, well the inflict wounds <laughs> is touch. Oh yeah, I'm swinging I'm thinking about it like it's casting through my hammer. So like I'm running up to this. Oh, okay, you're going, you're going in. You're going in yeah, and I'm you're going, going for it. All right, I'm it is. In. All right, it's 40 feet down. Because you're at the top of the tower is 40 feet up. And it's down inside the tower. At the bottom. So oh. it's it's not like it's on a second floor at the top. It is oh, yeah. the tower walls. I, and then that is at ground. Yes, level. my mistake if I miss... Yeah, uh, explain oh, that. Well, just it, I was getting in my own fantasy head that this was just this like a little sentinel tower. Oh shit! <laughs> One story, forty foot. Go. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is just awful. There's no. This is not good at all. It's a kill tunnel. You guys got it. You're at the top of the kill tunnel. Yeah, it's a kill tunnel or one wing, and we're out of here. We're all yeeted. This is this is a yeah. heat tunnel. This just well, became a heat tunnel. I guiding bolt it and then run away. I I I now come through the front. I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting. I thought there. I thought I was like, damn, Bronson's gonna fucking leap down onto this thing as back to cast inflict wounds. That is a bold ass move. I mean, but it's fine <laughs> if you want to just. Um, uh, obviously, nothing happened. You can take it back. Maybe that was on me. Yeah, the it is basically it was a tower that came and went higher. It sheared the top off, and it's basically like a forty what, foot. What roll are you gonna have me make? Because I've already RP'd this, and okay, all right, all right, hang it's on. Hard going back. All right, let me. Um, there. Oh, fuck, why do I never have this? Seems uh, like an insane thing to do. Um, yeah. It's a horrible thing to do, but I've already done it. But you, you, he's just said you don't have to. Yeah, but that's we're full on honor mode here. Uh, what an insane man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if one creature wants to jump onto another creature, it can do so by grappling. A smaller medium creature has little chance of making assist blah blah blah. blah. That's not a thing. Uh, a suitably larger opponent can be treated as terrain for the purpose of jumping onto its back or climbing onto a limb. After making ability checks necessary to get a position, smaller creature uh can make a athletics or acrobatics check contested by the target's acrobatics if they win the creature successfully moves into the target's space onto its back so acrobatics or athletics versus the dragon's acrobatics if you, give me if you let me have advantage i'm doing it well you are above it so All i right, feel like go. you stand a it. chance so i'll care. give we you just... I'll give you advantage. Here we go. It's you also have the high ground, Anakin. You do. You do have the high I'm ground. Going, I am. Uh, no matter what, I'm still gonna hit it, even if I bounce off of it. So let's go. Let's do this. Here we go. We. Yes, twenty. Come on. Uh, it. Uh, it rolls a seventeen, but you still beat it. Yes. yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fortune favors the bold. Let's do this. So, yeah. Uh -huh. So the way this works is you can move around within its space, treating its space as difficult terrain. The larger creature's ability to attack depends on your location. So, like, if it can't physically get at you, it can't attack you because you're on its back. I mean, it is a dragon, so there is some, like, head maneuverability there. Um, and it can, if it wants to, it can try 
to use an action to dislodge you or like try to like you know smash you up against the wall or something like that. But okay. you land on its back. Uh, right, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to inflict wounds. I have my bless. Let's do this. Uh, you do have advantage on your inflict wounds because you are on top of it. Oh, let's go. It's hot. Get that crit, baby. Don't get the crit, but I get uh, 23 to hit before I even roll blast. That is good. You're good to go. Give me that necrotic. Oh, good. 15 points of necrotic damage. All right. All right 15 ah, points. Ah! All right. You guys, on an actual madman. All of us are just like, oh my God. <laughs> we look around. Was this, this was the, this was the play. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, probably a little, a little taken aback by the leap of this dwarf from the sky onto its back so to, ridiculous. to hit it with inflict wounds. It like, the dragon doesn't seem to really even get a chance to like, take too much note of what happens. Uh, but that being said, um, and given the presence of the other people here at the top um for the moment it's going to ignore you bronson and kind of crane its neck up and then up with the breath weapon because why would you not I even you uh oh. so it is a kind of rear it stands up to its full height extends its neck upwards and it shoots out a ba -ba -ba -boo, 30 foot cone which i want to need the three of you at the top to make me a constitution saving throw how far is it it is a 30 foot cone it stands it up yeah. yeah 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 okay i just want, i was like I, I i i already know the D, &D player is already doing the math on this so <laughs> i'd be doing the same as thing so Constitution. We have, we have bless, right? Constitution. The bless. Yeah. Constitution saving throws, please. Oh. Con. Oh, yeah. Con. Don't fuck me, D and D Beyond. You fucked me, D and D Beyond. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Twenty two. Oh. Okay. Twenty two is good. Six. I got a twenty. Those are all successes. So you will all take uh twenty one <laughs> halved again because of the resistance down to uh 10 points yeah. of poison damage all right that's quartered <sighs> yes so everybody you all take 10 <laughs> points of poison damage and it is almost shocked at like the la like the fact that you're all not just blistering uh like disasters right now from this like it, it it clearly like it even had the tunnel effect of like the breath weapon couldn't even expand all the way out, it just kind of up through the top. Uh, and it kind of, it, it like, it definitely, there's like a, that kind of like throaty growl and like a sneer. And it kind of like turns its back and looks at the crazy dwarf on its back. And it's just like, ten. yeah. Was the total damage 21? Your total damage was 10 because you all succeeded. Okay. That's, so that's I already all the re reductions. That's yeah. Okay. Forty-two so did... to twenty-one to ten. To, to ten. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forty. Forty-two to start. If we didn't have, uh, and then it looks at you, Bronson, and it's just like, who are you people? Uh, Gable, it is your turn. Oh. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow. What? Sure. You don't oh, do can that. Sneak attack because I'm on his back. Let's go. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Would I get advantage because of height? Ah, uh, this ain't Baldur's Gate three. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should I do blessed. your uh, deception thingy. Insight oh, deception. The, oh, oh no! You already get. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm already advantage, getting advantage, right? Okay, cool. Excuse me, sir. I have to roll some dice to kill a dragon. <laughs> it's it's adorable. Uh, All right. Uh. I'm pretty sure I got it, but I just want to do the math. What uh, 28 to hit? 28 will hit. <laughs> okay. There. There. Use this D8 this time. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to use Piercer. I can do it once per turn. Uh, why not? All right. Ah, damn it. Okay. Uh, that is 16 points of piercing damage. And then I would like to use... <laughs> I would like to use my bonus action to fucking hide and okay. just crawl, <laughs> crawl back to the edge of the fucking uh, tower. Go ahead and make me a stealth check, please. Just a cat on a it's curtain a 17 here. On a die. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, well, it's... It, maybe? No. Um, that That's is 23. Nice, baby. Okay. Uh, 33. All right. <laughs> Uh, then it is Bishop's turn. All right. Um, I will fly on down, uh, around this thing's head. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will attack it with my rapier and with my bless. Sure. To do. And I'll say, Venom Fang, uh, this is an eviction notice. <laughs> uh, which is a cool line that I rolled a 19 with. 19 hits? Yes! All right. <laughs> good, good. All right, well, I'm going to smite then, as one might, uh, for, ooh, good smite damage for a total of 28 <laughs> points of damage. Jesus. Well, that's oh. what I'm here for. Uh, and then I will uh, roll the broscade uh, and use my bonus action to increase my armor class by one. Uh, as I'm just like rolling around, flying in circles around this here dragon. <laughs> All right. Uh, then it's gonna go to your turn, Soot. Get X Men, Venom Fang. <laughs> uh, Soot is kind of like pushes herself up on, so she's kind of standing or kneeling on top of this uh, tower, and she's going to. Uh, Say, uh, moon prism power. Mm, spin okay. Her, uh, <laughs> spin her <laughs> belt. Um, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use six charges. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Weapon. Hell yes. Oh, that's gonna roll one at a time. Hold on. Well, technically, if you want to follow the official oh, yeah. rules, it's just one, and you you just roll the one. So that's two, plus three. So plus one is three damage. And how many shots is that? So no, it's it's no, it's more than that. It's uh, eight. It's eight. Oh, because you do three to begin. With. Yeah. So yeah. twenty-four points of force damage as all of these magic missiles shoot out of your belt buckle at this thing. <laughs> she kind of like catches herself on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, oh. Um. All right. Uh. Anything else? Uh. That's that's it. I think, yeah. No, I think she'll just kind of uh, adjust herself and and try and hold on to the edge because I know this boy's coming up soon. All right. Well, Bronson, you're up. Look at my hammer. <laughs> he in his soon, Venom Fang. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit him with inflict wounds one more time. All that's right. I'll give you advantage. Go for it. Let's go. You're on its back. All right. Got to roll my D4s here. LB, you look nervous. Nervous? What would happen? Yeah. Nervous for fighting a fucking dragon. Yeah. We're yeah. kicking ass. Yeah. Kujo, awesome. you look nervous. Nine, you say 19. that. We 19 hits. We charged or not. Ooh. All right, all right. Come on, baby. Roll hot, roll hot, roll hot, roll hot. Come on, Ooh, come on. 14 points of necrotic damage. All nice. right, 14 points. I will two first levels gone. Am I um no, I can't cast uh healing word. That's gotta be a cantrip. Mm -hmm. Uh so yeah, that's the end uh, end of my turn. All right. Venom face. Did you pop yourself a, a berry, perhaps? I haven't taken any damage. Fucking A. I'm buddy. on its back. Fucking A. It does not recharge its breath weapon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right. Might be, might be more dangerous. It than might be much worse. Much. It might be it worse. Might be worse. True. True. Uh, well, it can't really get. It all it has is its bite and its claw. Uh, and 
Uh, so I think it's going to start by trying to bite Bishop because it's right in his face. All right, buddy. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That was garbage. So it, yes. it, you call it, it garbage, but it's our riches. Thank you. It, it, I should have moved this book because it stopped it. Uh, but anyway, uh, got your twenties out of the way before. <laughs> yeah. You uh, don't count me out yet. Uh, so <laughs> it, it misses with its bite. It, it, it's just so many things are happening. Mm -hmm. So then it will start to kind of like, uh, it just starts kind of like clawing its way up. It can't actually open its wings wide enough to get out of here. So it it technically, I guess, will be leaving your threatened square there, Bishop. So I will do so. Go ahead and make an attack of opportunity. Abrosion uh, repost. Yes. Uh okay. I I love bless. That's a 20 with bless. Yes. That'll hit. Uh I'm gonna smite again. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Why would I why would I possibly not? Oh, smite damage is so good oh, today. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Good in the 27, Jesus. 27 points of damage. Alright. Uh and, and yeah, I'm just I'm just slicing straight up its belly. Uh, with my radiant, absolutely kick-ass rapier. <laughs> All right, so it it claws its way up to the top of the tower, mm. uh, and all that's really present up here is a gable that it can't. Uh, I guess I actually it could see because it has blind sight, so it can't see him. But uh, and a soot who's right here who just blasted it with moon prism power. Um. <laughs> Oh, I should have done that ahead of time. I didn't even think about that shit. Oh, well. I let you do it because I did, uh, that's on me. I fucked that up. Um, It is going to... Yeah, it's going to take the disengage action and start flying mm. up. So it flies up uh, is that after it already makes its like bite and claw and all that stuff too? Oh, you're right. It did. It did actually do a bite. You're right. So it doesn't take the disengage action. <laughs> so then I'm gonna. Oh. Yes. So now I'm gonna attack Gable. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? Chad, does it does it great. does a dirty twenty hit you, Gable? Does it? Yeah, it does. Uh, so what's it on now? It's doing its claw. On it's claw Gable claw too? on Gable. Okay. Yeah, that is. Okay. Uh, actually, how far down did you move when you were hiding? I just went five feet. Just below. five feet down. Like I'm clinging to the outside. Of okay. The tower. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, it can reach you. I was just trying to see if you were out of reach. Three quarters. Well, either way, it's thirteen points of damage. Okay, I'm still alive. Uh, and then the other claw is gonna go for you, Soot. That is a nineteen to hit. That'll hit. What's your armor class? 16? Well, I don't know. What cool. is my armor class, Ed? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. uh, it, ain't a plus it ain't a plus four armor. It, it, it's not a plus four armor. You're right. Um, it is... Uh, it is... Gonna hit you. Uh, yeah. So that is gonna be... Uh, 16 points of slashing damage. From that. Um... Yeah, uh, and then it's gonna just kind of, I guess, stay poised here at the top of the tower. Uh, <laughs> bitch. Uh, and now it is. Uh, Gable turn. Okay. Well, now it's basically within melee, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if that is the case, then I'm going to put the crossbow away and draw my rape beer. Sure. I, hold on. I need to check cutting action. It's dash, disengage, or hide. Okay. Um, I am going to, I'm going to try and stab and aim for his throat. Okay. Uh, to see if I can't, like, mess with where the breath comes through. 
Um, I don't know how that works mechanically, if anything changes or not. Um, um, we'll see. Okay. Not like... Um, Throw us a crit. Yeah, that would do it. That's, crits are usually good for that. That's not a crit. Uh, it's a 16? No, bless. Bless, bless, bless. 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 You're bless. Always bless. Uh, 19. 19, <laughs> 19 will hit. 16 would not have hit. Oh, because there's an ally. That's so true. Sneak attack. Okay. I'm going to use Piercer. Reroll that two. Yes. Uh, three. One, 14. Uh, 19 points of piercing yes. damage. 19. All right. <laughs> and now, Gable is going to use cunning action to disengage and climb 30 feet down <laughs> the side of the tower. Just like. Motherfucker, you're not gonna get me this time. <laughs> that is that is fair. Uh, I yeah, I totally understand that sentiment. Uh, all right, then it will go to uh, Bishop. All right. Uh, well, I will close once again. I'm gonna fly yes. right up. Yes. Sure. Get him, um, get him, Bishop. I'm gonna try. I'm trying, Bronson. I'm trying. Oh, uh, maybe not even with Bless this time. It's only a 15. Can with... I DM uh -huh. use my reaction to give him my inspiration die? I will allow that. Yeah! yeah oh. 1d8, baby. Let's go. Come on. I'll let you, or, 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 I'll let you just make a. a... What is it, a d8? Or a chance at something better. Ah. Uh, well, the thing is, is that right now I have a a fifteen, and I roll so poorly. <laughs> but I gotta, hey, I gotta go for the. Go for the gold. We're a. Hey, this is it. We're in it to win it. Absolutely. You're right. And my bless is a four, right. so we're gonna re-roll the d twenty. That's a ten on the twenty plus four plus seven twenty one. That is. Oh. Yes. Whoo. Okay. All right. All right, yeah, I raised my rapier up to Bronson, who's holding on to this damn dragon like a psychopath. Mm -hmm. uh, riding him up into the air. Uh, I'm just gonna make eye contact with Sir. I'm gonna wink and I'm gonna stab this dragon for uh, 23 points of damage. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, bonus action. I am going to heal myself and lay on hands <laughs> for 10 points. All right. Uh, then it is your turn, Soot. Get him, Soot. Uh, Soot, uh, says, sorry, buddy. Um, okay, so Bronson is on the back of this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to summon my friend. I would like okay. to summon Ember. Yeah. So that he is within 10 feet of this thing uh -huh. and me, if possible, and not to hit Bronson or Bishop. If that means mm. I have to summon him in the air above this thing, okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I will, I will say there is a way you can summon it kind of <laughs> like above slash off to the side to hit this thing. Okay. Uh, I would like to do that. He needs to make a deck save, please. What's the DC? 14. It's not that high. Uh, that is a success. So okay, go ahead. Point. And it's going to take half, I think. Um, takes 2d6 fire damage. I I don't think it... Does it not? Is it? Notice. Okay. I, but yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, um, all right. So then he is going to fall upon this thing. Okay. So he's going to need to make some sort of. Uh, oh, you're trying to get it onto the back of the. Yeah. Thing? OK, uh, so go ahead and have it make an acrobatics or an athletics check. OK, come on, Ember. Um, probably an athletics because it's dex is plus two. Well, it's strength is plus zero, so. That's true. Oh, uh, 30, 20. <laughs> All right. Ooh, then. Ooh. All right. Natural so one. Then... So yeah, you succeed. Oh, no. On Yo. you're on its back. Yo. Uh, <laughs> yes, dragon. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's 
not actually super great because he oh he can fly just oh. kidding well then that yeah. is a thing yeah so he's going to fly and do a ranged attack on it okay okay so he's going to do this plus my mod my plus my your spell attack modifier to hit so it's plus six uh it's a 22 to hit that hits uh, d6 plus d6 PD? plus two proficiency bonus okay so it's oh, plus two d6 plus two so that's four fire damage all right, all right. hell yeah that's my bonus action well your action was to summon it it's a bonus action to summon it because it's a shape oh it's an action you're right i'm so sorry yeah uh so uh and then is it my bonus action to make it do stuff yeah yeah okay so that is my turn okay uh, I'm going to move. I am also going to climb down. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bronson. Uh, what does this dragon look like? Uh, well, it looks like it's poised to fly. Like, <laughs> as though it's trying to leave. In a self-preservation uh, way. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Mechanically, uh -huh. what do you want me to do if I were to say try to jump on the edge? Oh, like jump off of the dragon onto like the, yeah, the roll, lip? Yeah, roll off the thing. Um, uh, you want to just do an athletics? Or, I mean, what do you got? You know what? He's... He's, you know, did goal for the gold. All right. He's hitting, it. He's hitting, he's hitting this thing again. <laughs> do it. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do inflict wounds one more time at advantage. Yep. <laughs> Slam my hammer into the back of its neck. All right. 17 plus uh, Blizzy Bless. Blizzy Blessings. Uh huh. Uh, which is a four. That hits. Give me that inflict wounds. Come on, baby. Big number, big number. Ooh, not as good this time. Uh, nine. All right. You hit it again. It definitely... You can see what looks like it, it could be potential looks of desperation on the, mm -hmm. the face of this dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, it is now its turn. Uh, it will now take the disengage action. That's and it fair. will fly up 80 feet. Can I use a reaction, uh, possibly? When it's like, it's, it looks like we're going, uh... To let go? To, no, to like, to, to try to make... A reaction to jump is what I'm asking the DM for. You would, uh, so... I mean, when it was your turn, you could have attempt, you know, cast Inflict Wounds and then just chosen to try to get off of it. I mean, I don't know. You said going for gold, so I just assumed you were going to ride this thing into the ground if you could. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, if you want, if you wanted to get off of its back on your turn, that would have been fine. Yeah, I would. I, I would definitely. I would. I would make my jump on this one. All right. Uh, all right. Athletics check. Uh, straight yeah. up. Yeah. All right. Eat. I got a 12. All right, that's good enough. You're able to jump. It, and... don't, look, it don't look good, but I'm like, ah! uh, All right, you are on the ledge. Uh, and then it flies up 80 feet. Gable. Okay. Okay. All right. Is Ember still on it? Uh, Ember was near it, but it flew up 80 feet. So no. No, advan no advantage, no sneak attack. I uh, I want to try and do something a little shenanigany. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, mind you, if I'm at the top of the tower, it's at 80 feet. Is that correct? The top of the tower, it is 80 feet above that. 80 feet above that. Okay, so I don't necessarily have to do something too crazy then. Yeah. But you are 30 feet down right now. So you That's have to true. climb up. Uh, I'm going to use the, uh, well, I just have a climb speed. I'm just going to climb back up 30. Yep. And, oh, I think the, I'm going to load that crossbow bolt. Okay. The charming one. 
I'm going to load the charming one and I'm going to try and hit it and see if Let's I can because it's right at that. It's at the minimum sweet spot. Yeah. 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 Without having disadvantage. I mean, alternatively, to Jake's point from before, you could drink that potion of invisibility and, and then advantage. gain advantage because it can't see you with blindsight at that distance and then have sneak attack on this shot. I'm going to do that. Yes, because yes, that's yes. that's going to have more damage output, and I'm I'm pretty sure that dragon is going to have some sort of resistance to the charm. So that's you fair. have advantage, <sighs> okay. and bless, and yep, bless. I got it. Okay, uh, it wasn't a crit. Um, that was a uh, twenty-seven to hit. That hits. Okay. okay, how many with piercer can I reroll? Piercing damage reroll one of the attacks damage die. Okay, I'm gonna reroll one of these. Okay, sixteen points of piercing damage. Okay, it okay. hits hit. It is it, blood is just pouring down from the sky, <laughs> but it is still aloft. Oh, this is bad. See now, now, now I'm like, no, now it has to die. Mm -hmm. Got to die. Yeah, this is how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that is my movement. Uh, my bonus action. action. My bonus action. All right, Bishop. I fly thirty feet up. Is the we'll check the fly speed for a potion of flying. It's my it's my oh, yours. Speed. All right, uh, that's it. Well, before I do, I'm gonna drop the broscade and I'm gonna pull out my longbow. Okay. Uh, and I am gonna fly thirty feet towards it, and then oh, I'm gonna shoot it help. with my longbow. Yeah, that's all you got, man. That's what I got, baby. I'll, I'll be, I, I mean, I've got some range on it, so I can follow for a little while. That's fair. Uh, Only a plus six for this, so that is a 24. That hits. Yes. yes. All right, 1d8 plus four. Oof, 11 points of damage. Yes. It's still alive. Oh, oh God. Oh, okay. oh, baby. All right. Um, do I have a bonus action that's worth doing? I do not. No. All right. Soot. Soot. Uh, <laughs> dark Soot climbs up from the and crests the side of this tower. Uh, and she is going to reach her hand up and she's going to cast uh, some scorching rays on this thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. You've got three. They are also affected by Bless. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And the Legends of Adventures oh, raids yeah. right now. Oh, man. Oh, you guys it's came in at the perfect fucking time. Okay. All right. Uh, so that, one, it, that one's just a 16 for the first one. With the Bless? With the Bless. The second one is 25. Uh-huh. And the third one is Oh, man. 18. We're getting... Thanks, guys. Guys, Woo. this, uh, so, uh, I would like to point out, we have all these wonderful people here from Hi, Legends guys. of Adventures. <laughs> Give you guys a little bit of a heads up. They're fighting Venom Fang. They are level three. They are a party <laughs> of level three adventurers. Okay. <laughs> they have been taking on this young green dragon. And some ass. it is currently 80 feet above the top of the tower, and its turn is coming soon to potentially attempt to dash and just fly well out of the range of everything. In a slightly non-stereotypical version of himself, my good friend Jake did a double version of his normally special move oh, and left no. this thing with two hit points oh. and our good friend yeah. LB hack him up slash soot hit with Woo! at least one of those scorching rays and the minimum possible damage is two points. Oh. So LB hack him up soot. How would you like to fell Venom Fang, the young green dragon from the sky, 80 feet up. Lay it out there for everybody. Yeah! Uh, so, rest 
up onto the top of this. Her red hair is just streaming in the wind as she just reaches a hand up and very quietly to herself, she just says, burn. And then the three rays go out, swirl around each other, and just bore into the side of this thing and crash through it. Flames go out the other side. All right. And you, you guys watch as this thing kind of gets hit and in uh, it begins, the wings start to falter and it, the you know, this, the embers, the blood from this wound starts to fall again. All of you for in one form or another are just being hit with viscera and blood kind of falling from the sky as this thing kind of starts to fall and it kind of almost gets into that duck hunt spiral as it's coming down. Uh, and then it, like you can see it trying to right itself, but it has no purchase. It crashes in to the side of the tower. A bunch of it just crumbles and falls off, and then it falls on top of the cottage that's nearby there, and it just kind of, this acrid smell is in the air as this dragon falls down, and you watch as it breathes its final breath. So it is full on carry mode right now. It's just I'm like the world's worst Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just go. I just look at look at sit and just go. Maybe it's Maybelline. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much it burns. I put I put my hand in some of that blood and brave heart myself. <laughs> uh, and before <laughs> laughing like a fucking maniac. By the way, before anybody gets a chance to ask. Yes, Robert. Everybody yeah. goes to level four. Oh. Yes. So I'm just uh, happy with the dragon horde. Like, you know, that's that's icing on the cake, DM. Oh yeah. Well sure. before so everybody is level four. We will get to that in a second. But amidst this dead destroyed dragon, by the way. Because I knew you guys were going to do some sort of crazy nonsense and get the drop on this thing and just hit it with a ton of damage. I want you all to know that your version of Venom Fang is maximum hit point version of Venom Fang. So instead Ooh. of the standard 136 hit points, this had 208. We rolled hot damage. You did yeah. real good. You okay. did real good. Uh, Les was absolutely Les was close. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we 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 would have been we were in a bad spot. We were in a oh, bad spot man. without Les. Ugh. So oh, I think we only had one attack hit with or like two attacks without <laughs> Yeah, I mean it definitely there were a lot of sixteens that turned into nineteens. Yeah. Uh so would I really didn't know if you were going to ride this thing out and just be like, ah, I'm just smacking this thing in the sky, trying to kill it, and then try to figure out how you survive a 160-foot fall to the ground on the back of a dragon. No. Would have caught him. I'd have caught him. Oh. What a way to go, though. Just saying. Um, yeah, I mean. With what strength, Bishop? With what strength would you have caught oh, him? I, I'd have caught him. We'd have both fell, and then we would have split the damage. I was, I was, I, I was... I, I, Wait for Robert to try to stiffen the wings of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I figured I had done enough at that well, point. That, fair. You know, at that point, it was like, okay, get off and hit this thing with guiding bolt on the way out. Mm. Uh, if if I knew if the future, uh, if, if it was going to use all of its actions just to fly up, I probably would have stayed on it. But I was worried. I was like, I need, I might need to drop my, uh, uh, my divine heal mm. Mm -hmm. yeah it, well it's i mean it is a dragon right and it's not like it this we know that it was newly acquired this location so it's not like it's a a lair that it's like willing to fight to the death over no uh, good berries used no healing spells other than what? bishops Boy, i almost needed it wow I, um, I, wow. If Dark Soden hadn't come out, I don't know, man. Welcome <laughs> even more raiders. Uh, Hello. so I think I think I I, I feel like we want to bring this to a close. We ran a little bit over, but obviously for a dragon fight, that's well within reason. However, yeah. I would be remiss if we didn't talk about what you find because I feel like you want to know what's in the horde for this dragon. Am I am I right in in imagining yes, that? Yes, All right. Yes, please. 
I mean, All I right. rolled for greed and made made myself. Uh... <laughs> All right. You, everybody, whatever, all the things happen, we can deal with the role play aspects of killing this dragon next time. Yes. What you find amidst the horde, broken chests and things under floorboards, 2,100 copper pieces. Holy shit. 130 gold pieces. Four silver goblets set with moonstones worth 60 gold pieces each. Moonstone power, whatever you were... Uh, a scroll of Misty Step, a scroll of Lightning Bolt. There is a very fancy battle axe with the <laughs> dwarven runes on it that spell out Hue, H E W in dwarven on the axe head. Uh, it is, uh, it is covered in rust. However, it doesn't look like any of the uh it doesn't look like the rust has had any actual damage to the blade itself it looks as though that may be purposefully there and misleading okay. additionally you find amongst this let's see what do i want to add there was a couple things i wanted to add to this uh bu -bu -bu -bu. there is a Strange dried up leech. Odd to have it amidst a horde of dragon things, but it's there. Yuck. Uh, there is a. No, I don't want to give that to them. That's a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> there is a gold ring uh, with a fluorite stone in it. Here we want to add. No, no. And a deck of cards. Oh Fucking no! Fucking goddamn it, Ted! <laughs> <laughs> we leave the deck of cards. That deck of cards can go fuck itself. Yeah. Why? Why? I have cards. I have cards. I, if we're not <laughs> doing anything until we talk to Dilverton. <laughs> why? Why? I mean, why would your character no, even no. know? Of course, of course. When I say that, fuck that deck Kuja of stop. cards. Who just stop? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what they say about cats. Curiosity I, I, does kill them. Kill yeah. them. <laughs> no, I'm, they have nine lives. So even if it does kill them, I just come right back. It's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, we live in a world where there are so many decks of cards. Why <laughs> does this have to be anything? Why are you worried that it's bad? Everybody yeah. seems so nervous. You yeah. know what? Uh, I'm, what I'm if no this worries. is the deck of cards of wonderful times? And it just like, it, all it does is give you you know pillows and comfort food like maybe that's what it does i am going to pick up the deck of cards okay you pick up the deck of cards uh it sh all the edges of the cards they shimmer very brightly it'll be fine there's nothing wrong with it it's fine guys yeah uh i mean uh do we uh yeah, like like the chat well, says, there are there are many things that that deck could be. You know what I mean? It could be it could be anything, right? There was like a whole book that literally just came out last year that all it had there was like eight decks in that book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A deck of flirting. Bishop needs it. What? Wow! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> LB okay. taking some shots to that. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. I, I have a lot of anxiety and hype right now, okay? I, yeah. I, I am yeah. filled with love. That's not Bishop's fault. <laughs> well, that's true. <sighs> so it's really hot. I understand. Uh, all right. Well, that being said, I think we'll bring this stream to a close. I assume as, as the party <laughs> sits around their dragon corpse and although it probably doesn't make sense i'm sure bronson pulls out some form of food as you guys eat around the corpse of the dragon oh, beverage it's yeah the, it's oh man it's the oh, ewok absolutely. celebration in indoor right now it's okay it's, yeah <laughs> yub nub into the night uh because you did it <laughs> <laughs> uh why don't we go down the line real quick and we'll do an outro for everybody here so go ahead robert tell people where they can find you 
I'm Captain Robert, and you can find me at Captain Robert at everything. We play D and D on the internet three to four times a week. We'll see you there. All right, LB, how about you? Hi, I'm LB Hack Em Up. You can find me at LB Hack Em Up on the Twitters and the Instagrams. Hack Recklessly is my channel for the YouTube, the Spotify, and for um, uh, Twitch. I'll be streaming next uh, Thursday, Friday this week. Uh, we're doing Lethal Company tomorrow, and then we're going to be playing some probably Dead by Daylight on Friday. And then we're back for our level 15 campaign on uh, Sunday. Uh, we're doing a Playthings of the Gods, where uh, each character has been chosen by a god, and Timor and Bashaba have are starting to merge into one, and the goddess of fortune is causing some problems. Fair. Mm -hmm. Jake, how about you? Uh, hi, Internet. You can check me out at Legends Rerolled. That's the podcast that I do. We are a... Uh, we're replaying classic games... Uh, in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, we are just about finished with our first season, which is uh, The Wizard of Oz. It's a lot of fun, and you should check it out. Awesome, and last but not least, Kujo. You're muted. You are muted. Let's try it again. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Kujo. Uh, you can find me all over the place at Kujo plays games or at Crit Hit Chronicles, unless it's Twitter, in which case it would be Crit Hit Cron. Anyway, uh, you can typically find my content over at Crit Hit Chronicles on Twitch. Uh, we just started a Daggerheart campaign that's going to run every other Tuesday. The next session is going to be the 23rd. The game is super fun, and uh, we've got some fantastic creators. Uh, I'm going to be doing some streams about world building where people can chime in and uh, mess with the world that the players will be playing in. So feel free to stop by. Uh, and I'm Ted. This is Nerd Immersion. This is my channel. We do all sorts of different stuff here. We'll be back here for you uh, viewing pleasure at regular time next week on Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. I might be streaming D&D &D tomorrow night. Take that with a grain of salt. But I will be continuing on uh, uh, this just arrived, my Lego Mimic. So I'll build this one. And I have another 30 bags of Legos over here on the floor to finish building the D&D &D Red Dragon Tower thing. So we'll be doing some streams of that. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, the, the wonderful folks, by the way, from Chains of Asmodeus sent me another copy of this book. So I actually now have three. So be on the lookout for a giveaway where I'll be giving away two copies of this along with a bunch of other third-party stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's actually one of the best source books out there. And if you were curious about the longevity of this campaign that we're playing in right now, because many of you were chiming in, Fandelver, Lost Minds of Fandelver. We're do this is Fandelver and below, so that's the 1 to 12 campaign, but this one's going to 20. So... If you like these characters, if you are hyped to see them beat Venom Fang and are curious to see what happens, who's Dark Soot, why are people screaming in Viscera, what's going on, what's happening with everybody, what weird interpersonal relationships do these characters have? Who's Pickles? You might not know, but you can find out <laughs> over the course of levels now 4 to 20 in the near future. So we hope you're willing to come and hang out with us. And yeah, feel free to... Check out all the past episodes. They're available in podcast form as well as on YouTube and edited down forms without any of the, you know, breaks and things. Although we didn't take a break tonight, but either way. Um, anyway, we hope you all have a great week. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.